I don't really give a fuck. All right, guys. Episode number one of the Pioneer Podcast. Number one. Featuring Michael Zakaria. You guys may know him from his, uh, I wouldn't say fame, his infamy in Ancaster. He won the Biggest Dick Award in <laughs> Ancaster. He's known as a local vandal and digital entrepreneur. He sold over half a million digital ebooks. Yep. On uh, weightlifting and <laughs> other other accomplishments, tell tell us about yourself. Uh, so I am Michael Zakaria. Um, biggest honor of my life was winning Biggest Dick Award in Ancaster. Um, my friends supported me through that. Um, it was awesome. Um, yeah, and, and on a serious note, um, I did sell over half a million ebooks. I was a New York Times best-selling author. Yeah. So uh, he was on the list. What were the ebooks about? The ebooks were about working out. Oh, okay. I just I just dropped my knowledge in a book. True. It took me like fucking two days to write. So You're easy. vegan though, I thought. Pardon? You're vegan though. Uh, I was for like a month. What was that like? It was shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like eating meat. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, everybody. I'm actually, uh, I'm a podcast host myself. Mm. Um, the What Are You Saying podcast. Yeah. What Are You Saying podcast. Jack is actually probably one of my favorite guests I've ever had on. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a fun time, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I wonder what's going on in my life. Yeah, last night I uh, last night I got real drunk. Yeah, the first tell me time. about that. You guys went the radius. Yeah, man. I wanted to talk about that. Like, I really wanted to talk about it. La- yeah, la- last night um, I had a good time. It was the first time I'd been drunk in a while, and like, I just me and alcohol we should not be uh, paired up together because it's no. never a good ending. No, what happened? No, I just do I do stupid things. Yeah, what's yeah. the stupidest thing you've done while drunk? It's usually like involves girls. Oh, okay. So I think it's most guys are, are like that. Yeah. But I just feel bad the next day because I always do something stupid. Oh, but I've done some The One of the dumbest shit. things I did this summer is I saw a girl out, know her, fully know her. Yeah. I was like hammered. Mm-hmm. Didn't It was at Radius too. Didn't say a word to her. Just looked at her. Go, <laughs> go back to my buddy's house and I start, I'm like, I'm going to DM her. I'm going to DM her. And they're all hyping me up. They're like, just DM her. Yeah, I'm there at two, like thirty in the morning, and no response. Bro, that's so late. That is so. Uh, but I, I should have said hi to her. Yeah, I didn't even say hi. How? Like that's kind of weird. Like I went the whole night, saw her, didn't say hi, and then I DM'd her saying, "Hey, what's up?" Did you make <laughs> eye contact with her when you did see her though? Yeah, I made eye contact. Oh, with her. buddy, fucked up, eh? It is, eh? Yeah, you fuck. Know, like, so you made eye contact with her, but then you didn't say hi to her though. No, that's because when I'm fucked up, I'm, I'm a different person. Oh, you were drunk though. Yeah, I was drunk. Oh, as fuck. okay. Yeah. yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I, uh, sober, I'm. I'm pretty like good. Yeah. But I mix. I mix weed and alcohol. So it's like I, when I mix weed and alcohol, it's like pfft, there's no talking. Buddy, that happens all the time though in public. When you see somebody you kind of knew from high school or college or work, and you you kind of know them, but you don't really, and you walk by them, you make eye contact, and then you both look away real quick. Yeah. Well, I find it weird how I have all these people on social media that I act like I know. Yeah. I like all their shit, look at all their stories and whatnot, but then I'll see them in public and I don't say anything. And I'm like, why do I get so awkward? Do they say anything to you? No. Sometimes. Yeah. Most people are, are not going to say anything, I think. No? No. I think it's just, it's weird how like I have this social, so-called social interaction with them online but yet when I see them in person, it's different and I won't say something. Well, that's the world we live in right now, man. Well, like it's, it's kind of a fucked up world, no? Yeah. It's yeah. weird how like uh, I was listening to, um, fuck, I forget the guy's name, but he was on Rogan's po- podcast and he was saying it's actually an anti-social world now. Oh, it is. You know what I mean? Everybody lives in the 2D realm. It's like one point he, re- he made that stuck with me is like when we were, even when we were in elementary school. Right. We didn't have iPads. I remember we had a computer lab and the no. computers were shit. Bro, I used to knock on people's doors to hang out. Yeah, that's what remember I mean. That? He was saying, he's like, yeah. you go to school. He's like, when I would go to school, he's like, whatever happened at school, you would leave. And then the next, like it would be, it would stop at four o'clock when everybody went home. Right. Now, like if you're getting bullied. Oh, that's the negative aspect. You get bullied. Of it. Yeah. At night. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you, you never leave it. Well, it's you a game. Never escape. And no, these kids don't yeah. hang out with each other. They just fucking text and shit. No, it's like when you go on Facebook, it's you see a room of people and the images of faces. Yeah. And it shows that they're online or when they're online. And it shows what they're looking at or who they're, whose photo they're commenting on. And then you see all these faces and it feels like you're kind of in a circle with them. As opposed to, say, Twitter, you just see words they say, but you don't know who's online. You yeah. don't know who's looking around. Facebook, though, it's like you're almost in a room. Yeah. And if the 
the shit people are saying is bad or if it's about you, you're going to be refreshing like, oh, what are they saying about me? Yeah. You know, are they talking about me? And I couldn't imagine what it's like being in elementary school or high school with like social media. Like when I went in grade nine, I remember Facebook just came out. I got it in like May 2007. Fuck. So end of grade nine. Pioneer. And it had ju- yeah, pioneer. But <laughs> I remember asking a girl. I remember asking a girl for her MySpace, being like, "Hey, what's? Can I get your MySpace?" Yeah. And she's like, uh, "Nobody uses MySpace. We all use Facebook now." I was like, "What the fuck is Facebook?" Yo, so then MySpace. I figured it out, and then now I've been on it for fucking ten years. That's crazy, dude. That's fucked up, man. Can't believe Facebook's been our lifetime too. Eh? When yeah. You think about it. It went from. Imagine if you invested in Facebook like fucking six years ago. Oh, you would make a ki- made a killing. Yeah. You know what? If I I wish I invested in before all the hype was bitcoin oh but just because i knew it was going to become like a trend and like i remember looking at it when i was working at ford on the assembly line and it was right. like six hundred dollars mm-hmm. and i was like that's all I, i'm not gonna make that much bro it's like 10 grand or some shit now yeah it's, it's retarded now man and it's it's weird because there's all these videos online of these guys that were 13 and they're playing video games and shit and they're ordering pizzas with bitcoin and Basically, four Bitcoin back then was like one pizza, but now yeah. four Bitcoins, 40 grand. Yeah. So there's actually millionaires that are like 19 years old and they're just like, yeah, like I had a bunch of Bitcoin when it was like, you know, worth nothing and I didn't do anything. I just, I'm rich now. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you, I saw, you know, Matt Stubbs. I saw Matt yeah. Stubbs post uh, an Instagram story of how much he made. Like he put the amount. I was like, damn. Like the percentage or the actual no, raw no, number? No, the amount. Oh, motherfucker. The dollar amount. I how was much like, was it? Uh, it was over a hundred thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah, bro. he had like he had a, it looked like he had multiple digital currencies. Yeah, and it was like sixty nine thousand in, in Bitcoin, but over a hundred. It was like one hundred eighteen thousand total. I was like, damn, that's retarded. I was like, what are you twenty four? When was that? Was that recently? Or? It was like two day, three days ago. Oh fuck! I yeah. must have missed it, man. I know him and uh, Brandon Gregoire. They yeah, fucking... yeah, Gregoire. I think he stayed at my house before. Yeah, Bitcoin I met Matt prodigy. Stubbs in uh, grade twelve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was always making... We were in ComTech together. He was always making cool videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was, I knew he was going to be something, like, yeah. special. Every once in a while, you meet somebody, and you're like, man, this guy's, you know, like, this guy one day is going to fucking... He's going to do something. Yeah. I have a couple of buddies like that, you know? They're not necessarily, like, they don't have their life together yet, but eventually, I know, they're just going to be balling out of control. Mm-hmm. Like, they have something about them that yeah. it's either grossly offensive or <laughs> something that's just going to make them successful, you know? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people, I always get discouraged when I meet somebody that you're just like, how the fuck are you so good at everything? <laughs> you yeah. know, you yeah. know, like when somebody's like so good at something, like it's not discouraged, but like, you know, you, you think you're like, well, I suck at like, what the hell am I doing with anything? Oh, yeah, that's I have true, a fucking man. podcast. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Dude, that's what it is with uh, coders, man. Dudes yeah. who can code. I tried coding. I tried so hard. Really? But I just couldn't do it. It's a good skill to have, especially in today's day and age. It's the number one skill. Yeah. Well, I'd say what's up there. Maybe job skill. Yeah, job skill. I think the yeah. number one skill is is like your ability to communicate. Yeah, I was gonna say communication. Communication is you know. the number one, and like actually communicate your right. message. You know, and like not just like like I think being good at communication and being good at sales are two different things. Especially with social media now too, because yeah. you don't have to communicate as much in person yeah now you can do it all digitally like i know people that won't even answer their phone yeah, if people that, that, call i hate that i fucking hate they that. got it like why are you calling me dude text me uh, is it anxiety mm. i don't know what it is you know i'm like don't fucking text me call me you want to talk like call me i'd rather right. talk to somebody over the phone yeah and like get to the point than text or in person dude yeah that's this, especially with uh relationships or oh, trade fuck. deals like anything you're doing Man, right. relationships like if are not, like t- the two D realm, which is mm-hmm. the, the screen realm, being on a phone or a computer or whatever. I think that affects negatively negatively affects relationships nowadays. Hundred percent, because so much miscommunication happens. Right. So many times you 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 just you, you the, the like you go to make a joke, you know. Yeah. You go to make a joke, but that person doesn't take it as a joke, and like emojis can only take you so far. That's the thing. If you, you write I mean? something, you can't express the sarcasm, yeah. right? Or like the face. Like a lot of times when yeah. I say things, I make a, f- a, f- a facial gesture. Yeah. Like earlier when I said you were like the n- voted biggest dick in Ancaster, you know? Yeah. Like I wasn't serious. <laughs> he wasn't actually voted biggest dick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's top five, but not number one. Not number yeah. one, man. Come on. It's <laughs> Ancaster. Yeah, buddy. Although there, I don't think there's any black guys in Ancaster. That's true. Yeah. Well, the demographic of people who voted were 40 plus year old women. So yeah. it's a little bit skewed, the lines, yeah. you know. One but, day I want to take down a MILF. Yeah? Yeah. It's on the list? 
Definitely. Yeah, fuck, buddy. Me but and my like a, somebody <laughs> that has a kid, not just like a. Oh, dude. okay. Well, what, yeah, what, a milf would be a mom with a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, not uh, yeah, but sometimes people get mis. Oh, you think like an old chick? Just like an old chick doesn't oh, have okay. kids. What if she has a kid and the kid dies? What? That's fuck. No, I don't know. Like, you wouldn't do it then? What do you mean? If, uh, like, oh, yeah, I would. Well, do she's it. still a mom. Yeah, no, but... I would do it. I would do okay. it. Yeah. Right. I was like, that's so <laughs> random. <laughs> it's like, what, what, am, I, am I the stepfather now? Yeah, fuck. But no, yeah, I don't know. I, so I, I, I've been feeling that lately. Me and my buddy were talking about this the other day. Like, uh, the list, as they say, things that you want to do before you die. Yeah. One of the ones I wanted to do was go, obviously, that's on the list, the MILF, but rooftoping, dude. What's rooftoping? Okay, so rooftoping is when. So, you know, when they're developing new buildings, uh, condos, yeah. financial district buildings. Yeah. So basically when they're under construction, all the doors are unlocked and open and there's yeah, yeah. scaffolding so you could climb up to uh, the top. Oh, so you want to go like jump from rooftop to rooftop? No, 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 no. Fuck no. That, that's parkour, I believe. But rooftoping is when you just climb up to the very top of the building illegally, totally illegal Yeah. at night because basically you climb up some scaffolding and then you go through a construction site and all the doors are unlocked. So you could basically just go up on top of a building and just chill up there. Okay. Just to see what the view's like, right? Yeah. So it's like being really high, like climbing a mountain, except you climb a building. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen like uh, YouTube videos of that. Even when I see YouTube videos of that, I like, my feet start to sweat. Oh, my yeah. armpits start to sweat. I get scared. I'm like, is this guy going to die? Yeah, I saw this one video. This fucking guy holds a girl off. Like he's holding, like, so she's on the edge and then she leans back and he's holding her with one arm. Yeah. And she's just down for that. I'm like, fuck Bro, that. It's all those fucking Russians too. It's Russians, yeah. Apparently a lot of them die. Apparently, it's very common that, like, people just fall from buildings because they, they jump and, like, hey, man, you fuck up once. That's it. That's There's true. There's no, like, you could fuck up three or four times. You fuck up once, buddy, you're dead. Dude, Russians are pretty disposable, man. I was looking at this list the other day of World War II casualties. Yeah, weren't they the most? Oh, bro, Russians got fucked. You know, sorry, Russians. You got, I yeah. feel bad for you guys. There was a point last year where I was getting a lot of views on my podcast from Russia. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I was like, I got to watch what I say about Putin. <laughs> Who knows? But I would not want Russians coming after No, me. they're fucked up people, man. No, nah, they're fucked. I watched that documentary, Icarus, I was telling you yesterday. Yeah. Man, fuck. It blew my mind. It blew my mind that like, and it made me think like, I think every athlete in every sport has probably done something along the line. And it's not a bad thing because what people need to take into consideration is when you're an athlete and your livelihood is your body right like you're playing and you get hurt that's your product that's your fucking product so it's yeah. like steroids mm -hmm. certain certain supplements help you get healthy man if they're hurt they're not getting they're not playing they're not making their money that's true you know they're not doing what they love you think athletes want to be hurt and be like whatever like no I, I, so i get it mm -hmm. i think they should like 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 i think lighten up the rules a little bit I or think it just depends on the sport man yeah, because that's true. In MMA, if you have guys juiced to the tits, yeah, somebody could die. Right, that's Same the problem. Well, fuck, they're all juiced well, to the tits. That's what it MMA. came to in mixed martial arts. Because I used to, when I first started watching it, they had a couple tests. So there'd be like, after fight night, uh, basically you weigh in. So you have a test after your weigh-ins, I believe, or after the fight. Uh -huh. so you have one before the fight, one after the fight. And that's about it. And it was a piss test, right? Yeah. So you'd have to be a total goof to fucking fail a test yeah. and pop, right? So everybody was using. And the fights were awesome, man. Yeah. There'd be dudes, 265 pounds, shredded to the tits. Fucking what's his name? In five-round wars, too. Who's like, the guy that got, no gassing. Who's the guy that got banned? Uh, Vitor. Vitor? Vitor Belfort. He's not banned. No, no. The other guy. Oh, Jones? No, no, no. Not Jones. There was another Brazilian that was just shredded. Fuck man, no, there's so many. Vanderlei Silva. Vanderlei. Okay, what he, what he did was different. They went to yeah, test him away, and he ran away from yeah. the test, bro. Can't yeah, do yeah. that. Basically guilty, man. Yeah. Do you ever hear Chael Sonnen on Rogan's podcast talking about their little interaction? Uh, which one? In um, Brazil? Yeah. So I guess Chael and Silva were fighting, right. and like Chael was like egging him on, like Chael does. Yeah. And I guess Vanderlei didn't understand what he was doing. He he had to like pull him aside and be like, "Hey, listen, man." He's like. We got to sell this fight so you can't take everything so personally. Right. Because he was taking everything Chael would say personally. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah. 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 Fighting's fucked how you can, like, in any, anything. When you can get in somebody's head and mm -hmm. you can make them angry and off their game. Because yeah. anger is not really, like, beneficial in sports, I don't think. It can be for some fighters. It, it can. It, but most yeah, of the time, but it no. It depends how you doesn't. use it. If you use it in a way where you're, like, you're, you're using it to, like, motivate you to, like, be a better fighter it's train good. harder yeah that's but if, that's the good if you're yeah. angry and you're like i just want to kill somebody and you're just like exhausting yourself just trying to like 
like right, slug right. someone, you're never gonna. And I don't know fighting. Well, I'm, that's a great example, never, actually. So, so like, do you remember Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor? Yeah. Okay. Conor talked so much shit. So much shit. Got right into his head. First round, he comes out and he's over aggressive. He plays right into Conor McGregor's counter game. Conor was setting up the straight left the whole time, and Jose just ran in with an overhand right because he was so pissed, and he just he uh, he telegraphed it hard. Conor knew he was going to throw that because he knew he was pissed. Yeah. And he got countered, and he was just out cold within 15 seconds. Bro, that was a fucking epic fight. That was like his epic 13 second man, fight. Yeah. Conor McGregor because of that fight and the amount of shit he talked to, like yeah, that yeah. that brought him like from here. Like he was like rising, but he was like probably here mm-hmm. to like. Oh, that, that fight made him dude. next level. Yeah, next you, you beat level. arguably the greatest fighter of all time in thirteen. Is seconds. Aldo arguably one of the greatest fighters? Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah at the time he he only lost once. Yeah, he, he defended his title for like ten years. Yeah, dude, he was undefeated in WEC, undefeated in UFC. I think he was on a fucking eighteen fight win streak. Really? Yeah, he's pound for pound number one. That's pretty fucking sick. Yeah, Connor just came in, fucking just murked him, dude. Knocked him out. Yeah. And you know what? Some people think that Aldo should have uh, gotten a rematch because it was considered fluky. Yeah. But we'll never know now. Yeah. Well, I think he should have gotten the rematch, but when there's money on the line, yeah, everything's different. Bro, McGregor rules, buddy. McGregor rules, man. He then he went up to shots. 155, dude. Yeah. Are you going to deny somebody a title shot at a higher weight class? I mean... Do other people deserve it? Yeah, but like, fuck. It's Man, when just it comes so down to it, sick if somebody moves up to a higher weight class. Yeah, and for fucking a title. knocks the guy out. He dominated Eddie Alvarez. Now, I'm not even a fucking like fight guy, and I I knew that. Yeah, you know Eddie, I mean? Eddie, Eddie was a. Uh, Is he a good fighter? He's good, but there's a couple. He's not really one of the greats of lightweight. He won the he won the belt the fight before. Yeah. And the guy. He, oh, he did? Yeah. Uh, so who? he had uh, Rafael Dos Anjos. Ah, okay. And it was considered kind of a fluky punch that did it, too. Really? So he was a champ at the time, and people thought, wow, he'd be the easiest fight for McGregor to win the belt. Yeah. And going back to uh, moving up to a weight class and fighting somebody considered an easy champ, Michael Bisping versus GSP. Yeah. People considered Bisping. Easy champ. Easy champ. Yeah. GSP comes back after four years. Yeah. Fucking mercs him. Yeah. Makes sense, man. Yeah. It was a close fight, but it was. Yeah. GSP, GSP marked him. That was so sick, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Come back four years. And it's like, it, yeah, you can say what you want about easy fight and whatnot. But at the end of the day, these guys are still pro athletes. Yeah. And they're still like, he's still the champ. Knocked out fucking Chris Weidman. No. Oh, who? Or Luke Rockhold. Yeah. Luke Rockhold. That's how he won the belt, too. Yeah. He knocked him out. And isn't he like really good? He was uh, considered one of. Like, skill-wise, he was the champ, and skill-wise, he was considered, like, wow, this guy's going to be one of the greatest ever. Because oh, really? Because he's so good, and he was really cocky in the fight, and he got yeah, caught. Yeah, and that's what, hey, man, that's Dude, what happens. Bisping took the fight on, uh, I think, 11 days' notice, too. Yeah. Well, you can't, you can't be cocky in things. No. You know, there's a difference. I really think there's a difference between confidence and cockiness. Right. And, like, I, you know what I noticed, too, in today's day and age? I don't know if it's always been like this. It's just, I guess... I'm older now, so I notice it more. Yeah. Is how many people let their ego drive them. You know what I mean? I suppose. So, like, everything's, like, they just, their ego is, like, the main thing that they listen to. You you, you get that? Um, what do you, how do they so express I mean, it? Like, you mean, um, per- everybody in person, everybody seems pretty chill. Online, though? No. See, I'm, I think. What do you see? Do I you think see? a lot of people seem chill. There's a lot of good people. I think majority of people are good people. Uh, deep down, like, especially in Canada, man. How many, like. Times somebody like there's most of them are good people, Bro, but Canada's the fucking bomb. I think a lot of people let their ego like a guy that made a comment on my last podcast on my show. Yeah, he said everybody tries to become their Instagram account. Ooh. You know what I mean? And I was like, "Fuck, you're right." Like that's what they want to be known as. But that's it's like true, man. Man, it's that's that shit's not fucking real. And I talk about it a lot. Mm. Because it's not fucking real, man. It's like you're not your Instagram account, you know? Like you're just fucking you. <laughs> Be okay with who the fuck you are. Yeah. You know? It's like just don't don't think you have to like mm-hmm. be like this like stud having a good time all the time and taking it with all these fucking bottles and shit. It's tough for us, dude, because we're trying to build personal brands, to. right? Yeah. But so we're like at one point I do agree with you, but at the same time it's like fuck, I am trying to No, no grow my own thing right but i also try and like be myself on my instagram account yeah like if i just take a picture i'm not gonna like fucking edit the shit out of it so it doesn't even look like me so i look like perfect it's like fuck well depends the content you post right yeah of course so like all my posts are 
humorous, you know? Like the other day, I had a picture of me in a field, and uh, the description was, you miss the shots you Sorry, miss the you miss the shots you don't take by Kurt Cobain and it's actually a famous quote by some other dude Yeah Wayne Gretzky you miss 100% of the shots you don't take Yeah but Kurt Cobain shot himself in the head so that's why I put it there <laughs> yeah. because you know he blew yeah. his brains out but See, it was a, I tagged myself as a douchebag like it was yeah. a joke right yeah. but some people are real serious about the See gram. but I like that because you are being real on your fucking Instagram account You yeah. know what I mean you're not being fake I know but most people aren't like well, that what do you mean? Well, most people are fake on their well, Instagram account. Well, they'll put quotes, but it's serious, you know, like, yeah. like you know, like uh, fucking uh, live, laugh, love, or yeah. Uh, what's, <laughs> yeah what, <laughs> what, there's some other good ones too, dude. Like motivational quotes, yeah, and then a million hashtags. Yeah, you know? like I don't fitness, put any hashtags in my pictures. Hashtag Monday motivation. Yeah, like it's bullshit. Yeah. I'm, I'm sick and tired of uh, fake motivation too. There's another problem with uh, Instagram particularly uh women i've noticed mm-hmm. so there's this huge feminist movement about do you remember a couple of years ago like uh women are not sex uh sex objects we're yeah. not uh, they're not uh they're more than just their looks their value is more than just look i'm talking about women as a commodity here i sound like a misogynist yeah but uh you know there's this big campaign about like all women are beautiful and you know like even yeah. if you're fat and out of shape and yeah. you don't take care of yourself that's all bullshit. That is all bullshit. All, everyone is beautiful, but being fat is a choice, right. I think. I it think is. it's like and, and I'm not saying that in the sense of like you have to have a fucking six pack, but it's like if you sit there and you think that like being 350 pounds, you're like, well, I'm just doing what I want to do. It's like, man, that's not good for your mind or your body. It's unhealthy, man. It's It'll unhealthy. It's yeah. about it's not about like looking like a fucking supermodel or looking like a, a shredded like bodybuilder or whatever it's about being healthy i truly believe in order to be as they say happy yes. or content with your life it's your dire responsibility to always be at your best yes and that means mental health and physical health yes so if you're not making a conscious effort to be at your best at all times that's probably why you're going to be unhappy right yeah and it shows too. Well, and I think people rely on uh, like external things for happiness, and they don't Social like media. they don't realize that they all we all fucking have it. That's We're all a, humans, right? But that's the thing. Going back to the uh, uh, the the movement about you're more than just your body worth. But if you go to the average woman's profile or girl's profile, particularly the fifteen to twenty five demographic, it's all just selfies. It's all just yeah. photos. Like, yeah. look at me, I'm hot. Yeah. Or like girls by a pool or their yeah. face. So basically, they're saying like, this is what. I am. I am a physical yeah. entity. Yeah. I am attractive. Well, I like when I see certain girls post, um, like workout girls, they'll post two pictures. Right. Like one flexing and then one, or like one bloated and one like before they eat. And I've like, seen some of those. Actually. I love seeing the contrast in it. And it's like, nobody looks like that all the time. Right. Nobody. Mm-hmm. My, my body, myself fluctuates throughout the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like when I first wake up, Oh, I you're groggy and shit. Yeah. Oh, you mean shredded in the yeah. morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. My, my, you can see my abs. <laughs> That's and then weird. When after like after like five o'clock, you can still kind of see them, but y- you can't like, they're not what they were in the morning. Interesting. Yeah, I like people that are real on social media. Right. I don't like. like I, I try and like not edit the shit out of my photos. You know, mm-hmm. I try and just like if I look bad, I'm like I don't give a fuck. You know, like I'm not gonna like post a bad picture of myself, like look like an idiot. Yeah. But, like, I'm pretty, like, like whatever. I'm just let the people see what what I am for who I am, not for what I, like... like well, that's the thing. Like, something that if, I'm not. If you're portraying yourself, like, if you post photos of yourself working out all day, clearly you're, like, I'm trying to show that I work out and I want to motivate other people to work out. Yeah. But if you're just posting photos of yourself looking nice, dressed up, whatever, basically you're objectifying yourself yeah. as a sexual object. Yeah. And if you want to be a sexual object... Sure, that's, cool. that's fine. Yeah, but if you don't, then you're basically burying a hole, or you're digging a hole for yourself. Well, and then the worst is the girls that do all that shit, then they get mad at guys because we fucking like hound them because like, well, it's like, what, what are you fucking like? What are you doing? I get you want to be authentic and you want to be sexual, cool, but don't post a, a fucking picture of your booty and not expect thirty guys to message you being like, hey baby, you want to go out? You yeah, know what that's I mean? the like, thing. Yeah, what the fuck, dude, the DM thing fucking kills me. Like girls are like, oh, creepy guy always DMing what the me. The fuck, what it's do you like, want? Delete it. Yeah. Or chill. Like, yeah. I saw this post. Do you know what a spotted page is? You ever heard of one of those? A what page? A spotted page. Spotted, no. Okay. So basically in Canada, we have these pages, uh, universities, 
and call just have him. It'll be, let's say, McMaster, spotted at McMaster. Mm. And it's an anonymous. I know what those s- are. Yes, you send yes, in anonymous yes. shit, right? So basically people send in anonymous messages. And I remember seeing one once for Mohawk. And this girl posted. She's like, yeah, this dude's been harassing me for months now, sexually harassing me. So I'm like, okay, I looked at it. And she posted images in the comments. She showed his name. And this is what it was. It was uh, her inbox on Facebook. And it was just like, hey, 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 what's up? Hey, smiley face. Hey, why aren't you answering me? Hey, hey, that's it. Why don't you just block him? There it is. That's the answer right there. Yeah. But look, she posted that, right? So basically, yeah. and then all of a sudden, all the SJ dubs came out of the woods, dude. All these oh, girls came out wow. like, oh my God, this guy's fucking disgusting. <laughs> He's a pervert. What the fuck's wrong with him? You should call the police. And then other girls were posting photos the same, like this guy messaged me too. So now it's like a badge, like, yeah, like, you know, we're attractive enough that yeah. this guy said, hey, to us. Yeah. And then somebody commented, why don't you guys just delete him or yeah. block him? Yeah. And I get there. there or ignore him. Yeah. There's That's certain, it. There's certain situations. Like I did see a girl on my Instagram post about that. But the guy was being really mean to her. Like he was like, because she wasn't answering. He just started ripping on her. I was like, okay, like this guy's a fucking douchebag. And then he yeah. sent her a dick pic. He posted the <laughs> dick pic. He, she posted the dick pic on, on her yeah. story. And I was laughing. But like. It, it, there's like certain situations where, right right if somebody's just saying hi to you a couple times and you're ignoring them and, and that's annoying to you, you can just fucking block them or just to keep ignoring them there you go but if they're like actually harassing you like because you don't answer like you're a slut you're ugly like you're not even yeah. any of this that shit's fucked up it's fucked up people i you know what a you big, still have the power to block them though yeah that's you what do. i'm saying you do that's what I'm saying, you do right? people love the attention even if it's negative yes. they'll people be like, love attention everybody yeah. wants attention uh-huh everybody and people think because they're an introvert and that they, they, they don't want attention, but yo, they fuck it. Everybody wants attention. It's just different bro. ways. Yeah. We all want it in different ways. Sometimes they want the attention. Like, look at this gross guy said to me. Like, yes. it's a funny thing to your friends, man. Yes. Well, and I know of myself, it's like when you're growing up, because you, you always, the thing is with clicks, I was sitting there a couple of days ago and my brother had his, all his buddies over and like I was, I got fucking high. Nice. They were all drinking and I was stoned and I was just sitting there observing, noticing everything everybody was doing. Mm-hmm. Um. And everybody just wants to fit in, you know? Everybody just wants to be, like, accepted by their peers for who they are. Right. So then by with that being said, a lot of people don't act as who they are because they think that that's not good enough to be accepted. So by just being peers. highly agreeable with yes. everything that you High, say. Re- highly agreeable or, like, very mean, you know, when, like, the, the traditional, like... Oh, as in, like, the if one person is getting made fun of... You make fun of them too. Exactly. Oh, and you yeah. Hop in on that, and usually, bullying, buddy. Bullying one hundred and one. Yeah, and it's like, and it's cool, man. I make fun of my friends all the time. Yeah. Like my buddy Dre and Dito, like I rip on them constantly. And as f- guys, that's how it is. Oh, dude. But yeah. there's a difference between that and like actually like being an asshole and like putting people down. I had another point that I wanted to go on, but I totally forget. Bro, you've had a labor job before, obviously. I've had what? A labor job. Yes. But most people don't understand this that have never had a job, like a real job. And by real job, I mean, like all jobs are real, but there's jobs when hey, Roger. you hate Sorry. them and you're out there and you're fucking waking up at 5 a.m. and you're like going to clean the shit out of a chicken yeah. factory, right? You know what? But on that note, what I'm saying is your first two weeks there, basically there's such a high turnover rate because it's a job nobody wants to do. First two weeks there, everybody at work rips on you. Mm-hmm. You come in. They try to find your weakness. They call yeah. you like a fag, a pussy, yeah. a loser, a cunt. Yeah. God forbid they say the C word. Or the F word. Because they're trying to weed out the Melvins, you know, yeah. the people who are going to quit. So yeah. the first week, they're really rough on you, kind of like initiation. Yeah. And especially if you're a dude. Yeah. Like, oh, if yeah. you're a girl, they won't, like, maybe, no. they, they, obviously, there's once in a while the cat calling, like, oh, this chick's hot, you know. Yeah. But, but if you're a dude, they'll just try to fucking rip on you. Yeah. And if you stay around for the first week, and then it's called ball breaking. Yeah. Then you you make fun of them too. Yeah, exactly. And it's not right. like I'm not sitting here being like I'm a, like, you can't say this about people. Like you, you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want. But it's like it just be real with it. Is yes. What I'm preaching is like whatever you do, whatever you want to be, whatever anything you want to do, mm-hmm. just be real and authentic. You know what I've realized lately? I've been driving and like I used to not shit on nine to fivers. Yeah. But I'd be like, who the fuck wants it? I would be a dickhead about it. Right. But then I would be uh, like recently I've been driving and I've been seeing guys on outside in the cold hustling, fucking like grinding, doing like road construction or some shit. And then I was like, yo, I was like, this fucking guy is busting his ass right now for some reason because he needs to. I was like, who the fuck am I to like be a dickhead about it? You know what I mean? So I I have a newfound respect for pretty much everybody. 
I was doing anything. Respect. Respect, man. I'm, I knew I was it was coming. Gonna, that's what I was going to say at the beginning. <laughs> Damn it. I was going to say respect at the beginning. But, like, it, and that's where I think this, like, fake motivation is, like, is kind of bad for us because people, like. It's unrealistic, It's man. so unrealistic. It's like, oh, just do what you love. Do your passion. It's like, man, when you, like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. What if my passion is just fucking, like, knitting? There's I've no used s- this example before. But if you're knitting, I think I used it on a podcast with you, but if, you, if you're Might have been at dinner the other day, actually, because we were talking after that startup shit. Remember yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what, what, I was, yeah. what I was going was, um, mm. um, uh, you just, I think you genuinely have to, like, be okay with whatever you're doing, accept whatever you're doing, and constantly try and change if you want to. There you go. It's about, like, nothing happens overnight. If you want to start a business, if you want to start anything, it's going to take a long fucking time to become good at it, no matter what it is. That dude on the road, he could be using that job as a next step. Bro, that's what I did. Work I worked towards a goal, right? I worked at Ford. At a job I fucking hated. Like, I hated it. But I knew. I was like, I have to save money. I have to bank my money. I can't be going out getting fucked up and spending it all. I can't be spending it on everything else. I was just... Like, I don't buy clothes. I paid for gas. And I pay... I eat out a lot. I love to eat. Yeah, me too, bro. So I was like... No weakness. But I, I consciously made the choice to not do certain things, save my money, and then that allowed me to quit and do full-time podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's well, you like, had a but, plan. It had a plan. But it took yeah. me a year... It took me... A year and a half to save up the right amount to quit, mm-hmm. you know? And I just, every day I knew what I was doing it for. I knew what I was doing for. And then, like, you, you can't get, tra- like, I almost got trapped in the in the trap of being like, well, I could just keep doing what I'm doing. And, well, and it gets comfortable, man. It's comfort. Yeah. It's com- Quitting, deciding to quit was very difficult. Mm-hmm. Very difficult because then all the what ifs come. You have a high wage job and you like you get used to the routine yeah. of going in every day. You're yeah. like, man, I'm making good money. Yeah. Buy a house. Yeah. Kids, I was like, know? well, I can do this. I can yeah. do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. And I was like, okay, well, what do I want though? Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to really decide what you want. I notice in life, um, if you, like you have to really be decisive with what you want, right. or you're never going to get it. You know what I mean? Like well, if, some of those people, they're working really hard because they're like, man, I can't wait to send my kid to school. Yeah. Right? All the power to them, man. Or some buy people, a boat, you know? And some people are just okay with being okay. Content. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get caught up in this fake motivation bullshit online. I hate seeing fake motivation online. I get pissed. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to start shitting on all... No, I'm not going to shit on the people. I'm going to shit on fake motivation. Well, you know what? Low key, maybe everybody's just trolling, man. You know Everybody I mean? is just trolling. You ever see those Instagram profiles? All they do, they'll follow you. Yeah. And then they'll unfollow you yeah. like a day later. Yeah. And yeah, they just yeah. post quotes and they got a picture like Arnold getting out of a Lambo or something yeah. like that. <laughs> do you know what I, I get a lot of followers too is um like, like fucking like, I guess they're prostitutes or something. I don't know. Yeah. Those it's Russian weird. ones, eh? I was like, what the, f- where are all ones. these accounts coming from? Russia. I watched a documentary about Ma- Ashley Madison. You ever oh, seen it? I heard about that. Yeah, I didn't so see a documentary. It pretty on it, much but. it pretty much exposed them for how many fake accounts they had. Then it made me realize, okay, I bet you Tinder, Instagram, Facebook, all those apps have fake accounts that are created by the company, which are bought oh, by the just, company. Yeah, just to have people interact. So what Ashley Madison would do right. was they would create fake accounts, then they would interact with guys and then get those guys to spend money. But they were fake accounts that Ashley Madison was using Ooh, that's and if you greasy. notice facebook if you know if you've ever sponsored something on facebook you notice that a lot of the, like i'm very like i'll look at the likes that i get before not so much now but before i was like a lot of them were it seemed like they were fake accounts a lot of them interesting and i was like you know what like i think these websites are doing them too and i get it on instagram now people like it just seems like fake accounts that follow me and they just want to interact. And well, I don't like, think it's Instagram doing that though. No, there's not think, the actual company. I think there's, I, I think th- they have some, I wouldn't be surprised if they had, they, they, some of them were, but I think there's some of them are just fake accounts that people make. Ooh, that's actually, I think the, accept- uh, this is completely an assumption. Yeah. This yeah. is, this is my opinion. This is not a fact. So well, I could see obviously Madison Nobody makes sense it because they have a monetary platform where if you subscribe to it mm-hmm. and you're like, you're like, Oh, well, you know, I'm going to use this site. Wow. All these chicks are talking to me. I'm going to, I'm going to pay, but yeah, Instagram and Facebook, not the same. However, I think this is going to go back to, uh, I wouldn't say the election, the big election in the States, but like the left, buddy. 
Like if fucking left. So what they'll do is on YouTube and stuff, they'll ban content they don't want. They won't monetize it and stuff like that. Yeah. So what's to stop them from building up a page to make it look like, let's say there's a leftist movement like, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, something, something SJW cause. Who's to say that they won't help them look like they have a lot of followers yeah. by giving them fake followers. Yeah. Now That's I wouldn't true. say Instagram would do it, but I know that a lot of companies when they start on social media, they have to have a decent presence or people won't take them seriously. Yeah. Like if Tim Hortons had 2000 followers on Instagram, yeah. people would be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? How, what the hell's going on with Tim Hortons? Right. But they're following 10,000 people. Yeah. You know, that people are like, bro, Tim Hortons. They not, suck. Not Do looking, they have an Instagram account? I don't know. I wonder. Sponsor me. Sponsor me. Yeah. Come on. I'm using Yo, your shout out, yeah, shout out to it. Tim Hortons, buddy. God damn Hortons. You got to love Hortons, man. I mean, Hortons used to be way better though. But I got the inside sauce on why they're not. Because they, you want to know, okay, what's the inside sauce? Okay, so I used to work in the chicken factory. And uh-huh. all these old ladies at work, they always told me the same shit uh, about coffee beans. And uh, you'll know know, you're yeah, you know where I'm going with this. So a couple of years ago, people may have noticed that all of a sudden, Tim Horton's coffee went kind of shitty. And yeah. McDonald's, their coffee menu just went, pfft, they had cappuccinos, yeah. lattes. They started putting fucking... Uh, uh, interior decor couches and fireplaces yeah. inside so you could sit and drink yeah. a coffee. Yeah. Here's what happened. McDonald's bought the original distribution supply from the original distributor of Tim Hortons yeah. coffee, like the same Arabica bean or whatever. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we got the good coffee now. Yeah. So they fucking went balls deep, doubled down on it, made this huge menu, and they catered their restaurants to be more of a cafe look because the coffee and breakfast market is one of the biggest markets there is in the food service industry. Yeah. So Tim Hortons, I guess they downgraded for whatever reason. Idiot. And McDonald's has better coffee now yeah. because McDonald's has original Tim Hortons yeah. coffee. Well, you know what, Tim Hortons, it just seemed like they a lot of their, like, I don't like how they started getting, like, fucking steak paninis and shit. Even when we were kids, I remember the yeah. cookies used to be, like, this big, and, like, they were so soft and, like, you would go get, like, a fresh peach juice. And, like, it just – all of their shit was dope. And, like – A lot it, of it might be food regulations now. Yeah. That shit was so unhealthy, I bet. Oh, yeah. Think about oh, yeah. what we used to eat. How come oh, – here's a question for you. How come – and I've, I've – since I started smoking weed, this has been a topic. So, like, seven or eight years ago, I was like, right. why is there no late-night healthy food? Sushi. Kind of. Not re- no, I'm talking like late bro. night. Why is there no nothing's open late night except McDonald's? Like nothing's open like at like one hmm. or twelve. You know, like I think you would get a lot of stoners if you had like a a small like local. If you started something local, say on Upper Jane, right? Start a little shop and you served like like a salad bar, like a salad bar, like a variety though. Like you gave yeah. things that were on a little like if somebody wanted to like eat something unhealthy, but you you have the option. Hmm. I think I know why. There's no market for it? No, here, here's my theory, right? So if you're a disciplined person, you uh-huh. eat healthy, right? Yeah. And you eat your square meals a day, your breakfast, lunch, yeah. your dinner. So when it's late at night, you're going to be going to bed. Yeah. You're not going to be getting greasy food. That's true. You're disciplined enough. Like you've had your meal, you're in bed. Yeah. So when it's in the morning, the people that are up super late, either they're fucked because they work bad hours. Yeah. Or. Potheads. <laughs> or. <laughs> The triple dipple, uh, or triple dipple. <laughs> or they're just trying to get piggy. You know, they're yeah, like, "Yo, I just want to get some late that's night that's grub." True. I know it's bad for me, yeah. Because when you eat late at night, uh, it, 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 you're more likely to gain fat and stuff, yeah, and yeah. you're spending money too, yeah. So that market of people that'll make impulsive decisions, like, "Yo, I want a fucking pizza slice," those are the people that go out and buy food, yeah. So that's why there's no uh, one a.m. salad. Bars. I don't like eating square though. Square. I don't like do the, like square meals like oh like three meals a day no I don't like like the whole like nutrition game for me is like I've realized as badly as I want a six pack I like to fucking eat everything you know like I'm cool with cutting out like I would be cool like for me I'm still young I'm 24 so very young I'm very yeah. active I work out seven days a week pretty much right um, so it's like, I know that I can get away with a lot more than like the average person can. That's true. So it's like, but I just love like a fuck. I'm Italian, man. Like I can't cut pasta and bread out. Well, dude, how much, how often do you come home and you know, let's say you got food from your mom or dad that like your mom made Every you day. some fucking lasagna or something. Every day. 
Right? My mom cooks every day. Yeah. So it's like, an, and then like, I'm not going to be like, hey, con- I've tried. My yeah. mom's like, I want to get healthy. I'm like, okay, let's get healthy. And then, no, not happening. My dad wants pasta because as the, as the Italian families work like this. Gender roles, buddy. This is how the Italian families work. <laughs> your dad, yeah. your mom is only worried about pleasing what your father wants. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, like my mom is it, like the main focus. It's never like, oh, what does Michael want? It's always like, what does Tony want? You know, like your dad wants this or your brother. I think it's just my family that I'm the least picky guy. Well, Tony probably looks out for your best interest as part of his own. Fuck Tony, man. My mom was gone for uh, shout out uh, to Tony. My mom. Yeah. Shout out to dad. Tony. Shout out Tony. If you're watching, but dad's got Instagram. uh, I think so. Holy shit. Instagram, Facebook, link, all of it, man. The world is fucked up. eh? Yeah. Wow. Fucked up. But, um, yeah, my mom was gone to Jamaica all week with my sister, her kids and, and my sister's husband. Right. And, uh, my dad was so fucking chill, like so chill. Yeah. We like me and him, we get along, but we, we argue a lot. Like I, I'm a shithead, you know, I like so, to stir the pot in, within my family. So was it pizza week though? Yeah, no. Yeah. He made pizza twice. Oh, I was going to say just order pizza. No, no, he made my dad. Like he likes when my oh, dad he makes pizza. Yeah, he makes it. That's dope. So, um, chill all week today. I I'm fucking hung over when I wake up too. And like, I'm fucking dehydrated. The guy was an animal. Yeah. He was yelling at me, like, dude, fucking don't make a mess. Yelling at me with all, for all this shit. Do this, do that. I was like, holy fuck. I was like, C- your wife's not even back in the country, and you changed. I was like, how did you, were you so chill Sunday to Saturday, and then I wake up today, and you're just an animal? You That's know? weird, eh? Yeah. It's human like, instinct, buddy. I Pardon? don't know. It's like maybe human instinct. No, I think it's because my mom just stresses him the fuck out. That's probably why, <laughs> too. She, like, he's like, if, I, if she comes home and it's not clean... She's going to be like, rah, 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 you know, typical women. <sighs> yeah, that's true, bro. Women, you know what I noticed? They all just, they all just want to, they all just want to talk about themselves and their fucking problems. Dude. Sometimes it's very frustrating, like listening to, to people's problems. That's one of the differences between men and women, uh, as far as, uh, like t- traits we've adapted from our ancestors. So back in the day, like, remember the spear chucking days? Obviously, we weren't around. Mm-hmm. But basically, when we were like... Oh, yeah. I remember throwing fucking spears yeah. and fucking mammoths. You know, mammoths? like Mike Zaccaria, the fucking 23rd or whatever, like yeah. the original guy, <laughs> hundreds of years ago. We're, we're, we're scrounging for cranberries from trees and shit. Here's how it went down, though. The men that talk too much, yeah, they were shit hunters because they'd yeah. be fucking talking. Yeah. And let's say you're trying to kill a mammoth, right? You're sneaking up on this cunt. And, you, you know, maybe it takes you 14 hours to do it. All of a sudden, Buddy says a dick joke. <laughs> everybody, everybody starts dying and the mammoth runs away. And then you guys are fucked, yeah, you know? Yeah. Or he's talking shit, you know? Yeah. It, it could be like a funny guy or not. Yeah. But anyways, the point is the people that were stoic and calm and quiet were the good hunters, yes. right? Everybody else stayed home. Maybe yeah. they picked blueberries or whatever. And the women... Yap. The women were very good. They had uh, they had skills for uh, gathering. Yeah, gathering the children and whatnot. Because obviously, uh, men are much physically built differently. Like yeah. we're built we're built to throw spears and and, and kill you shit. Ever had an argument about with a woman, a feminist, about how we're not different? <sighs> I have. Sorry to cut you off. Keep I know going, I have. Well, we'll the point I was after. getting to though is uh, women are very accepting of other women, and that's one of the reasons that there's so many. Uh, tight-knit communities of women because women will listen to each other's problems and they like taking in other people they are very uh uh, open to nurturing yes they're nurturing it's it's one of their natural instincts whereas men men are friends based on like what can you do for me yes you know like if you are in a group of people and there's a guy that's useless he's not going to survive no same with nowadays and it's also uh friendships for men are built when you're doing something together like if you're at work and we're, we're shoveling fucking you know concrete or whatever but we're both doing it together as a team that's when uh, uh companionships yes are made right yeah women it's it's a lot of just talking we're just and not we're not nurturing men are right. not nurturing well some are we can be but the men that are nurturers they're not getting laid and they're not <laughs> killing mammoths buddy if you can't kill a mammoth then you're not getting the laid don't want, and you're not eating the girls don't want a pussy they want a man they don't want some fucking guy that like is just being a like a, a no. pussy no. We're going to get a couple, couple haters for this podcast. But How many deer does the pussy kill, bro? None. Yeah. None. Meanwhile, neither of us hunt because nowadays no, food I think is I super could, easy I think to I get. Could fucking, I, if I got, I think I could, I, I think I could manhandle like a deer or something. I could choke out a deer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I like jump from I could a try. Tree, I, if I like strategically planned it, right. like I was hiding in a tree, like I'm not going to catch it because they're fast as fuck. But if I like timed the jump properly, 
and I jumped on it and I got my arms. I'll fucking choke that thing out. Fuck, bro. Do you know how hard it would be to have a deer come up underneath you? See, yeah. And not notice you, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but you're in the tree, bro. bro. bro yeah. I'm like a fucking ninja, man. No, but they can smell you, bro. Oh, that's They'll true. They'll smell that scentless. lasagna eight two It'll weeks ago scentless. coming I'm out of your gonna, glands. I'm not going to eat for two weeks. Yeah. I'm going to shit everything out. Okay. So no food in, in my system, just water. And um, I'm going to hide in the tree for like a day. Fuck. And buddy. I'm going to like my, I'm going to control my heart rate because I'm good at that. What if we just <laughs> tranquilize the, the deer, yeah. put him next to a tree. But and then when he out? wakes up, jump out yeah, of the tree. Yeah. And then maybe he's got like a, well, you got the advantage, but yeah. Cause we tranked him. Yeah. I don't even know if you could choke out a deer. Now I think about it. Cause their yeah, neck man, is huge, bro. Like how long their neck is. You got to like, if you're going to choke out a deer, you got to like, you have to be on top of them. Like, yeah. you have to have their back. It's like a rear naked choke. Yeah, but their fucking neck's huge, bro. I know, but, like, if you get in the, the, the right spot, why the fuck not? Fuck, man. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. I wonder. Because deers don't fuck you up, you know? Like, deer... No, they're not. What the hell are they going to do? do you, except you would never have lands? to defend yourself against a deer, I don't Pardon? think. No, no, you would never. One time Maybe I'm, a big buck, actually. I don't know. Like, if, if they, like... I don't know. I'm not really scared of deers. No, me neither. I feel like... I feel like hypothetically talking about it and actually doing it are two different things. And I was joking about everything I just said for everybody. Like I was, I don't have like, I'm not like a ninja. <laughs> no, bro. I'd try to like, if, if somebody, like if somebody's like, yo, Jack, we'll give you fucking 500 bucks. You got to try and take out this deer. I would do it. Yeah. I'd do I it. would do that for sure. I mean, I like being physical. Okay. What about deer come... rights though, bro? That what? deer just eating some leaves well, and some no asshole jumps on them. Who's the fuck's a deer act? Nobody, people Vegans. don't care about deer. Bro, the yeah, vegans. They don't care about deer as much as they care about bears or like. Bro, they don't give a fuck about wild animals. No, they don't. No. I don't think most people, I don't think a lot of activists. Right. I don't think they realize that like they're just, it, it comes back to everybody just wants to be a part of something. That's true, yeah. That's all people give a fuck about. We crave relationships, we crave attention, and we crave being a part of something. Yeah, community, a team. Community, a team, exactly. Like, right. nobody wants to just do shit by themselves. It's not that fun. Because no. it's like, it's just not. It's, like, I, I, I do crave my alone time where I can just sit and, and be alone. Right. And um, But, like, everybody just wants to be a part of a team. And, like, when you get on these teams, like, if you've never, like, I played hockey my whole life, so I was always a part of a team. I, always, I played football, so I, I, my whole life has always been... I've always had that. But if you never played sports, really, and you grow up and you're like 22, and then somebody like, and, and, and you get introduced to this concept of SJW or veganism or whatever the fuck it is. Those are just two that. Oh, they're the tasty too. You're like, whoa. They're, you're like, oh man, this is a cause that I can fight for. And it's not people. I don't think people are bad being a part of these, these groups and fighting for it. No. I just think they're, they're very misguided and they don't understand the damage they're actually doing. You know, like SJ, like extreme anything. We were talking about this, uh, me, you, Dre, and uh, Lindsay the other day. Yeah. It, anything radical or extreme is not good. Right. It's not. It's like Except, the far, far right where yeah. dudes are burning the, houses The far, far right, the far, far left, too much, too vegan or too much eat meat eating, anything. Yeah. Too much like of a hockey put, whatever, whatever it is. Right. Anything you're too extreme in is not healthy for your mind. No. No. And like, I just, I think it's like. We just, I don't know. Well, dude, nowadays you pick Fuck. something like veganism or feminism or SJWism or even, you know, doucheism. That's, I'm in doucheism, actually. One of the leaders I think locally. I'm on, in, in doucheism one. Yeah, you're a cunt lord. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're a Melvin, though. No, I'm a pioneer, buddy. Yeah, that's true. You're a pioneer. Yeah, I kill Melvins. Yeah, that's so man. fun, dude. I was doing interviews, man. I was asking people what's the best way to get rid of a dead body, and people were sketching out, like, "Dude, I'm gonna get in trouble for this, man." It's like, why? did you actually kill somebody? Yeah. I mean, well, why are you tripping? Well, and it's it, like when you pass yeah. by a cop. I heard Rogan talking about it the other day on his podcast. You pass by a cop, you're like, "I don't have anything on me." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Empty your pockets yeah. real quick. Start, or like, if you go like, because I smoke weed, and sometimes you know, like, there's shit just like yeah. you forget about it. So That's like true. if you cross the border, you're going on like a plane. You're like, yo, I'm like triple check. Yeah, that shit. would sketch me. I out triple too. check shit because I'm like, yo. So she go to Hong Kong. Man, I know this guy. I know this guy used to date my cousin. He was telling me, he, uh, I'm gonna expose him a little bit. I won't say his name, but uh, he was telling me because the weed in, in Europe. When I went to Spain and I smoked the weed, I was like, this sucks. I was like, this is shit. He said the same thing because he's got family in Portugal. He's like, yo, he's right. like. I need to bring some cush over for these motherfuckers to experience it. So what he was doing is he would stuff like a half quarter or an ounce in an Axe bottle 
and bring it on the plane. I was like, you're fucked. Dude. You're fucked. I was like, good for you for doing that. Like, respect. Do you think he actually did it or is he full of shit, bro? No, no, he did it. He's crazy. He's Portuguese. He's he's crazy. That's fucking I was like, sketch. Hey, man. Wow. All the power to you, but like, damn, I don't have the balls for that. Bro, it's sketchy bringing a camera into a fucking concert. Yeah. This guy's bringing drugs internationally. Man, I remember doing... uh, Even though it's just weed, too. Yeah, yeah. But man, you'll get the law, bro. It's the law. It's the man-made laws. I was going to say, back to the being a part of a team or community, man. Nowadays, it's SJ Dubism or Douchism or Feminism or, you know, fucking uh, uh, Fitnessism. Just yeah. ism, ism, ism. It used to be religion. Yeah. For hundreds yeah. of years. Thousands of years, actually. Yeah. Bro, like people, like if you believed in a certain God, you get your head cut off, yeah. bro. They'd smear you and your blood on the church door. That's what the Crusades was, bro. Yeah. 200 years, cunts were riding on horses, killing yeah. each other. Because of which God they believed in. I don't think um, people are uh, people aren't as mm, I don't I'm not I don't want to I don't know if I should say that. What religious? I don't know if people are like I'm not really that religious. Like I went to a Catholic school, and like I believe in a higher power. I do. I just don't call it like God. You know what I mean? I think all religions, at the end of the day, they all preach like the core of them are all good messages. It's true. Yeah. It's pretty much like be a good person. Yeah. Help your neighbor. Right. And be a part of a community, be a part of a community, right? You know, like work together. But the thing is, is where religions get messy is they all say we're the right religion and everything else is wrong and you can't believe in anything else. Yeah, well, that's natural that's, though. To that's be competitive. Because we want you to join our religion. Yeah. Not that one. Well, it's because it became a business too. Oh, yeah. Right? Everything that's become that's a, true. Everything that's become yeah. a business is like, if you, you think about it, it's like when, when money gets involved, hey. Everything changes. You know what? <sighs> Everything. Imagine sports. Imagine professional sports. There wasn't money in it. How different would that be? Well, how many of those? How many of like? Because I think there's a lot of people, especially in hockey, growing up in Canada, and growing up in the minor hockey league system. If you don't have fucking money, you ain't going nowhere in hockey. Nowhere. Because it's it. I played like mid level hub. It's called. It's like single A. There's triple A, double A, single A. To play hub, my parents were dropping like. Because every year you need new equipment. You're driving like three grand a year with like tournaments, gas, everything. Well, I was going to say, yeah. It's fucking expensive. Travel expenses, so it's too. it's expensive as shit. And then it's like in hockey, there's a lot of people paying off a lot of people, a lot of scouts and a lot of coaches getting paid off. Their mm-hmm. dick sucks by some moms and shit yeah. for their kid to get more ice time. So it's it's super political in the sport. Super political, man. Like, just, right. like There's definitely guys that I know that could be playing at a lot higher levels that were better than a lot of guys that made it just didn't have the money. Interesting. You know? So it's like, I would love to see if sports weren't like, if there wasn't such a big reward, like I think they, I had this argument last night. I don't want to see it. There'd be no competition. No, no. I think there's naturally we're competitive, bro. There's competition in men's league. I was going to say, no, but what I mean is if, if there was no money involved in any sports, it would be, it would be competitive still. It just wouldn't be as glamorous. Yeah. It'd be like curling. Yeah. No, I, th- I think it would still be cool. It would still be sexy. You know yeah. what I mean? Man, I'm telling you, I go to play beer leagues, hockey, or flag football. I'm a competitive guy, naturally. Most, yeah. I think most people are. So it's like, I still think things would be competitive. It just, I think there would, it would be different. Well, I mean, at the highest level, though, people wouldn't be trying so hard to compete at such a high level because they'd be getting normal jobs. If, like, let's say you couldn't make a living as an NHL star. I know, but imagine, like, you know? imagine you got to play professional hockey on like the weekends, like f- I'd get up for that shit. I don't know because there'd be somebody that's like, you know what? These guys are all only playing on the weekends. Yeah. What if I make this my full time gig? Yeah, I practice true. every day. Yeah. And then if they keep doing that, keep yeah. doing that, all the guys on the weekends are just not on the same level yeah, as the other that's guys. That's true. So that's, that's true. naturally what happens yeah. when money gets and involved. And I, I think they do get paid. I had this argument last night. I was drunk and stoned. I sounded like an idiot too with my buddy Liam. I don't even know what I was Oh, doing. we're coming off as two retards right yeah. now, buddy. No, it's okay, man. Fuck everybody. Retard's just the word, by the way. Yeah, it's not. Only don't... The only people who give power, uh, if you give power to a word, that's what makes it offensive. Ex- I was just going to say that. Like I the watched, word cunt. Man, yeah. I watched, I watched this, um, this girl reposted this. This girl, I guess she asked these two black, I don't even know what the fuck it was, but she asked these two black guys. They were on a stage and there was a big crowd and she's like talking about the N-word and like, and the guy's like, he, he, he gave like a really good response to like why you don't say it. Like, or why you can and can't say it. He was saying, like, ah, oh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. 
I don't know. He was but, saying exactly what you just said. It's like a word is just a word, and it depends on like the context is is, is like the meaning of it. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's why I think a lot of things get misinterpreted. To go back to uh, what we were talking about earlier, in the two D realm, two D realm of like being on a phone, it's like you can use a word like retard, which is like a bad word. Whatever yes. that means. Yeah, it means to be late. Yes. So you can use that word and text, and like you could use it as a joke. And then somebody can might not take it as a joke. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, words are just words at yeah. the end of the day. Right. They're not like, it's not the be all and end all. It's like, and I'm not saying, I'm not advocating to go be a dickhead and just start saying random words. Yeah. But I'm just saying, don't get so offended when people use certain words. I notice in the, in the new age spirituality community, people are- Spirituality v- community? Yeah, like the, the new mean? age, like the, like, like yoga, and the hippies and shit. Oh, hippies, okay. I yeah. find a lot of those people get offended right. very easily from certain words, like struggle or work, or like pain. Because they don't work, or no, it's just because they think <laughs> those are like bad words. I'm like, yo, it's just a fucking word to portray a message. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, this, it's like a couple wanna, movements with your tongue in yeah, your mouth. I don't think many people want to like acknowledge pain and suffering anymore. Oh, I guess it's done. Yeah, I I don't understand. I mean, it's basically it's if you're offended by a certain word, it's you're looking to be a victim. Yeah, you're looking to be like, okay, what word? You're trying to have power over someone. Like, you can't call me that. Now, I understand if let's say you're in court or you're in a classroom, and if you're saying something that's offensive, especially if you're saying something that disrupts everybody else and it's out of turn, it's out of context. I understand there should be rules there, but if you're just talking to somebody generally and they say a word you don't agree with, you should just be able to go. You know what? It's just a word. It's just a word. I'm not offended by that. Yeah. You know? Like, if I sat there and I started, like, shitting on you, then it's a different story. But if I'm just, like, using certain words. Oh, yeah. Even online, too. Dude, I've had so many people talk shit to me online. Like, your videos are the worst. They're disgusting. Not even talking about, like, my new channel, but my old channel. Like, the edit was shit. You suck. Yeah. Too, too many ads. Fuck you. Hope you die. <laughs> You're a goof. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just people go off on oh, you, man. man. But I've never really been like, oh, that offended me. Yeah. Because it's just words. It's just words, man. Look, there's a difference between words and like if somebody came up to my, like let's say somebody came to my door and they're like, hey, you're Jack, right? I'm like, yeah. And then they just fucking knee me in the dick. And they're like, you know what? Fuck you. I hate your videos. And they knee me in the dick again. That's assault. Then like that's, I can feel that. It's, yeah. It's pain, right? It's pain. But if it's just words. Whatever. Yeah, it's just a word, dude. It's just words. Right. And like, and I don't think anybody would have the balls to do that in the first place. Because because of social media and screens now, it's so easy to talk shit. Because there's yeah. no... Back in like the 90s or when we were like in growing, growing up in the 2000s, early 2000s, it was like, if you talk shit about somebody, it's usually it's to their face or to somebody else and then they're going to find out. They're going to come punch you in the head. Yeah. Now it's like, I could be talking shit to some guy in australia like you're a fucking loser buddy i'll knock you the fuck out <laughs> get the fuck out of here you suck at everything yeah. nothing's gonna happen on xbox and shit that's what too, i mean right? there's nothing's gonna happen and people yeah. become they become so accustomed to that it, no because it, it's, so it's accepted easy. it's like you know what like like i troll people online all the time buddy not necessarily nowadays but back when i used to just be you know like when you're a kid and you're 13 and you're on forums and shit and yeah. you're like, yeah, fuck you, dude. Like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> fuck you, pussy, and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like you're playing a game. It's like, yeah. it's all, like you know that you wouldn't say that in person. Yeah. Some, and it, if somebody, like, let's say you said that to somebody, in real life, they're not, like, pissed at you. They're like, oh, this guy's just talking shit online. Yeah. Trolling. Trolling. Yeah, like, I've made up stories online. I've said, like, yeah, like, I'm a... Remember, I was on Xbox one time when I was a kid. Oh, really? You've made up stories before? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Dude, when I was a kid, I was on Xbox Live, bro. Okay? Listen to this. I was on Xbox Live, and I was like fucking 14. My nads just dropped, okay? Yeah. So I had this deep voice. Yeah. And this guy was talking shit to me. He's like, what are you, like fucking 5'2"? I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I'm a six foot five black dude, bro. <laughs> talking shit to me. I'll fucking KO you, bro. I'm 250 pounds, dude. Yeah. And I just went off on him, but I was like 14, like as yeah. a joke, you know? So that's one of the things you got to realize. People online are just having a good time. Yeah. You can't, you, if, if you bring up something somebody said online like five years ago or whatever, I honestly assume that they're either fucking around, they weren't serious about yeah. it. And if they were, you can't really, that's not who they are. No. Just like we were saying earlier, people on Instagram, they're not who they are on Instagram no. in real life a lot of the time. Well, and the thing is too, is when you say things in the past, it's the past, you fucking change. That's why with the whole Donald Trump, like, grab her by the pussy, I was like, bro, he was, it was like 2002, 
He didn't know he was running for president in 2017. He was talking to some guy man to man. It was that, a private conversation. That's what I mean. It's like yeah. I say some fucked up shit in private conversations. Oh, everybody does. And it's like if I'm like if somebody started exposing that, I'd be fucked. But mm -hmm. it's like I don't say it like when guys start chumming around and to have guy time and guy talk, man, there's a lot of shit that gets said. Oh, fuck yeah. A there lot is. of shit that could be exposed. And like it sucks that these people that are in power and famous yeah. get shit on for saying shit like that. Like I'm like, yeah, sure, it wasn't the best thing to say. Right. But it's like, man, who gives a f like he said in two thousand and four. Who dude, cares? Dude, there's stuff like that all the time. Who cares? You remember Donald Sterling? Remember what he did? Yeah. Okay, so he was That was bullshit. He so, had to give up his team. Right. So he was seeing this chick that was like in her twenties. So he's just banging her. He's like eighty years old, you know, he's dating a supermodel young chick. He's buying her cars, houses, whatever. Whatever the fuck she wants. Doesn't care. She took a picture with uh uh some basketball player, like Magic Johnson or something. Yeah. And he and I think so he was so old. This guy's so old. That he couldn't remember shit on a daily basis. So she would actually record stuff for him. Like that was part of their agreement that she would record conversations so he could recount certain things. Yeah. And he called her one day and I think he said like, you know, I, I don't like that you're posting photos with black guys yeah. on, on your social media because yeah. it makes me look like, you Let's know, like an idiot. Yeah. Like, like I'm this old white guy and you're banging these black guys or maybe yeah. she maybe she was maybe she no, wasn't no, but, but I, he I, just I, said like i prefer you don't do that i don't care if you hang out with him just just don't post it yeah he might have said the m word i, I don't did. know did he say the m no, word I, I don't know i don't know he, he, uh, i know he, he like yeah. he sounded a, a little racist in the video right right but that was probably taken out of context and here's the thing though it was a private conversation yes. by an old guy and she leaked it yeah she leaked it and if he Fucking would he ever say something it. like that in public I mean, there's people that have, if you have opinions on stuff, that's one of the classic things. Uh, don't discuss politics at the dinner table. Yeah. If you have ideas and they, people don't agree with them or they're not appropriate, the thought police can't come after you yeah. and take those ideas. But what happened was she recorded him and she leaked it yeah. illegally. So it was a privacy invasion, right? And then he lost his team. Yeah, he got fucked out of it. Yeah. They're like, we're going to make an example out of this guy. Fuck that. But here's another thing. Just Fucking taking out, all that out of the way, the dude was in his 80s. Yeah. It was a different time back then. I mean, That's if you go, I mean. if you read literature from the uh, the sixties, what's that book? There's this one book where they said the N word, uh, "To Kill a Mockingbird." Yeah, you know, it was about a black guy. But back yeah. then, they just said the N word all the yeah. time because. I mean, that's just the culture, right? Yeah. It's just like faggot used to be cigarettes yeah. or like a, or a person, right? Yeah. But now, people are giving it power by being offended by yeah. it. Yeah. Now the N words, and, people have been a. It's you and know, like it's I think tied to racism for a long yeah, time. Yeah, and like but. it's not something you as a white person you should be able to say. Right. I don't think. No, well, I think, it, I think it's just a word, though, you know? It is. And it's like, I just don't want to, like, get on that topic and, like, get into a pointless argument with somebody because, like... Yeah. It was my, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, like anyway, I think, if, I think what happened to him was just, if it's based off of a private conversation, if it's something that's a, a violation of your privacy and it's not some sort of incident where, like, let's say Donald Sterling's like, yeah, I killed her and I hid the dead body here and they find it. Okay. That's, different story. That's a little bit different. Yeah. But if it's just a word he said, man. Well, I don't understand what the, why this bitch leaked it. He was giving you everything. What? You, yeah, what do you think? She got like, paid, yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, true. But he was and now like, she's that girl that brought down the fucking tyrant, too. Yeah, but what? Yeah, tyrant. He's just some fucking He's white guy. He's an old white guy. Yeah. That's I how my grandpa video. used to talk. I saw the most cringe video I've ever seen in my life. Much Music posted it, and it was people shitting on white men. I, and it was like, I was like, I hate all of you. I was like, I hate you all. They were just like, just shitting. I wish I could pull the video up. But I was they like, triggered you, eh? This is disgust. I was pissed. Yeah. So I was like, yo, what the fuck? If I made that video about black guys or Asian guys, I would get hung. Yeah. I'd get arrested. Dude, if you're a white guy, you're the enemy right now. Buddy. That's what I mean. But so, or if you're a man in general. If me and you made black. a video saying like, you know what I'm fucking sick of is fucking black people. And we started preaching that. Yeah. People would hate us by the way i love black people like i do shout out to black people. shout out to black people like i think like they're some of like the like man the only difference people. look the only difference between white people and black people is melanin in your skin bro that's it fun fact history lesson jack densmore history lesson bro uh, science bro history bro science bro history so in africa where we all uh, originated ancestral primates we used to be monkeys mm -hmm. and uh we learned how to walk we learned how to cross rivers so we got like friction by getting uh, uh, that shit on your feet, like those webs, yeah. so that when it's slippery, you can cross yeah. a rock still. Anyways, we started to like run out of food. And bro, Africa's fucked up. There's tigers and shit all over yeah. the place. Oh, yeah. Well, not, not tigers, lions, whatever. It's fucked up there. There's no tigers? No, not in Africa, no. Really? No, just lions, bro. Tigers in Asia. Maybe what? Th there might have used to have been tigers, yeah. 
No. I did not know no, that. No, it's no tigers, bro. Fun fact. I just learned something. But anyways, so we're like, yo, let's get out of here. Let's like explore the rest of the world. That's why there's people in Egypt. That's why there's people yeah. in Europe, Asia, China. Well, Egypt's in Africa. Yes. Northern Africa, right? Yes. Considered part of like the Middle East. Yeah. But anyways, people uh, migrated away from Africa, right? And if you guys are familiar, Africa, which is where all the people came from, is right on the equator. So it's hot as fuck. And that's yeah. why there's such a diversity of wildlife. But it's so hot that your body needs to repel the sunlight or else you're going to get toasted every day. So that's why the skin is black, right? Mm. So they developed this skin to protect themselves from the sun. That makes sense. But as we moved north, it wasn't as sunny all the time and it was actually kind of fucking cold yeah. and cloudy weather. And all of a sudden, uh, the sunlight isn't uh, uh, burning us anymore. But at the same time, we're not getting those vitamins that we need from the sunlight. Yeah. So our bodies adapted. We got whiter and paler. Same yeah. with our hair. And that's why there's lots of people that are hairy as fuck that live in the north because if you're living there for hundreds of years, your body's going to adapt to yeah. it. Now, that's, that's evolution. So that's whole yeah. uh, entirely different story. But literally, the reason we're different skin colors is because we originated from the same place, but those who moved to colder climates, they just became more white. Yeah. Makes that's, sense, That's man. it. It actually, it actually makes sense. And at the end of the day, man, we're all fucking humans. You know, I, I, yeah. I, like we're, we're, we're all can pretty much do the same shit. And I guess there there is, like, I'm white, so I don't know what it's like to be a black guy where, like, you get judged by just your skin. Like, I, I don't... Suppose, I suppose, yeah, that's true. I, that's Man, that's just real, bro. What but happens with Asians, white people? Everybody. Like, everybody, everybody gets judged to a certain extent. From their know? skin. And, and, like, I guess there is a such thing as... I don't know. I don't want to talk... This, I want to go on another point that was a little funnier. What do you think it's like for... Like, do you like those chicks that, like, bang those older guys just for money? They enjoy it? Oh, buddy. Like, what Fuck do you, no. Like, I, for me, it's like, what does your life come to that, like, your job is just fuck some old, old guy and you just... You get whatever you want. Well, I feel you know, like that's so like... There isn't really a market for, for, for dudes for banging it's old like, ladies, damn. you know? What? There isn't really a market for dudes banging old ladies. No, so. but there's a little bit of a... Well, it's a niche. It's a very niche. <laughs> right? And like, you got to understand the money ain't like... No, it's it not. It ain't like the other way around. That's true, yeah. I don't think about it though. Like, you're a chick, right? Okay. And uh, let's say you're just born genetically gifted. You're mm -hmm. like super hot. And you're like, fuck, I could work. Or... Or... I could be like, hey, let's maximize what I was born with. Yeah. And uh, what, what, what does the free market say? It's yeah. all about the free market. Yeah. If some guy will pay this much, plus, you know, prostitution's illegal, obviously. So they have these loopholes, right? And it, look, if it's fair play, like, let's say uh, uh, a chick's like, yeah, you know what? Fuck, I'd really like this super nice car, but like, yeah. I don't want to work for it. Or maybe I work for it, but I can't earn it unless I have a little bit of side income. And what that side income may be is sugar uh daddy. yeah sugar daddy like yeah. maybe you start your own business or a yeah. fruit stand or whatever or, or you get a sugar daddy or some old you get country. your sugar daddy get the money leave start a business yeah uh, hey man i would do it that's the move if i was yeah. a super hot chick i'd be down in la miami finding me a, a sugar daddy being like hey right. you're cute like bro i'm sure it's the same for like you know I mean? good looking dudes too you know like there's probably like super rich Gay old guys that would do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, well, did you hear dude. about the guy that the the X Men director? What he was doing is he was fucking all the like extras and shit, guys. Yeah, and like give okay. them like roles, but he would like drug them and like fuck them. And oh, shit. okay. So the drug part that's not cool. No, but drugging people's not cool. Look, you, honestly, yeah, I would yeah, be, well, I would be okay if like my friends like made like a weed brownie and like I didn't have to anywhere to go and we're like, hey, here, take this. I'd be like. And they're like, yo, you just ate a weed brownie. I'd be like, damn, that's cool. Like, I'm cool with that. Yeah, but, but what like, if they gang fucked you after? That's fucked up. Yeah. Right. I would, I'm still pretty <laughs> conscious when I'm, on, when I'm yeah. high. But, like, mm -hmm. if my friends did that to me for fun. But if you drug people and, like, you take advantage of them, like, that's some sick shit. Yeah, it's fucked up, dude. Like, I have a, a hard time. Like, I have a hard time just, like, having sex with a girl and, like, never talking to her again. Let alone, like, taking advantage of them. Like, I would not be able to live with that. Dude, yeah, it's you're basically overpowering somebody, and you're, you're you're taking them against their will. Like yeah. that's fucked up. It's the same thing when like Vikings would come. Remember, like back in the day, obviously you weren't there, but Vikings <laughs> would come on ships. <laughs> my my and, great uncle was. Though. And you, all of a sudden, you're like, you know, you're you're fucking washing off your cranberries. You just spent five hours picking, and all of a sudden, a boat just comes through the fog, and dudes just come out with axes and, and just start fucking chopping heads. Yeah, right. That's fucked up. Yeah, and there's nothing you could do about it. Yeah. So that's the same thing with. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not like obviously. The drugging aspect is fucked, dude. It because is you put up. them in a vulnerable scenario where they, 
will uh, uh, be overpowered, right? Yeah. But overpowering to begin with is fucked up. Yeah. It's the same with rape, uh, violent acts, it's messed assault, up. Yeah. you know? Well, it's messed up that you could, like, especially for, like, women, man. Like, I, 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 like, I couldn't imagine, like, like how, how that would feel, you know? And, it's like, pretty fucked up. And it's, like, you see all these, like, like, I don't know. It's just, it's very, like, it's a touchy subject. Well, we were talking about before, though, this, uh, uh, what's that, what's that cunt that, uh, banged the little, the, 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 the extras on his show? Oh, the X-Men guy? I don't right. know his name. So, okay, l- let's say, uh, let's say his name's, uh. Tom. Yeah, Tom. Okay, Tom the director, right? Yeah. So, Tom is filming a movie, right? And he's doing auditions. So, uh, uh, Chris, Chris comes up. He's like, man, I really want this role, you know, like, I'm really good for it. Tom's like, listen, man, um. I already have the role filled, you know, and uh, the only way you're going to get the role is if I fill you. Yeah. And then Chris would be like, you know what? That's fucked up. But I'll do it. But I'll do it. Yeah. Or he could be like, that's fucked up. Uh, I don't think that's appropriate. I'm going to leave now. Yeah. And Tom would be like, all right. You have the choice. Shake hands. Hey, cool. man. I think if it's you know? an agreement. Yeah. That's cool. Right. It's fucked up. It's but fucked up. I'm not condoning it. Yeah. I just, I'm okay with it. But if it's like what Bill Cosby did, where okay. he would literally like yeah, promise these girls shit, fucked. like that's fucked up. Like well, he would, if if he promised some shit, but he didn't drug him, I mean it's it's double fucked up, but still not. Uh, it would it be a crime? No, it's like prostitution, right? But when you drug them, yeah, when you, you take drug advantage them, of them, yeah, that's where it's like yo. Or if they're like underage or some shit, yeah, that's the double fucked yeah. up. Yeah, and like because they're naive, like girls, young girls are naive. Yeah, young anybody's naive, yeah. bro. Especially like man and girls when they get. I see when young girls go into the club, they don't know what they're getting into. No. They don't know what, what fucking jungle they're about to embark on. Same with dudes, too. You ever yeah. been in a club with buddies, and then one of them starts talking shit to somebody? Oh, and then you're like, fuck. oh, Last no. night, I thought I was getting into a fight. Yeah, that happens when Last you're a night, guy. I thought, well, it was like, because my buddy Liam had not gotten into a fight with a guy before. And he was at the bar? And the guy was at the bar. And oh, my buddy fuck. Liam's like, he's a tough fucking guy. Yeah, yeah. And he got like, they like blindsided him last time. But like, one-on-one, he'll kill any of these guys. Right. And I was sitting beside him, and I was fucked up. And I saw the guy. I was like, hey, man. I was like, I got your back. I was like, if anything happens tonight, I got your back. Yeah. And then I started going over my head. I'm like, if I have to fight tonight, like, I got to get in the zone right now. I got to stop drinking. <laughs> Nothing oh. happened, thank God. But I was like. That shit could ruin your fucking like, night, though. Yeah. The whole night, night you're going to be like, that, this man. guy looked over no, here. Like, is he going to, you yeah, know. No, I don't, I don't get into that shit, man. No. I've never been a fighter. I know if, I've always been scared of hurting somebody really bad or getting really hurt. That's mm-hmm. always been the fear. I'm like. So if I get, if I was a fighter, I feel like I'm gonna hit the guy the wrong way. He's gonna fall, die, and I'm in jail. Bro, that's the problem with street fights, man. That's why I've never been like, yeah, yeah, let's just throw down. I'm always like, listen, guys, I'm not. I don't want to punch. I don't want to fight. I just don't. Dude, you could be the toughest. You could be the ruined. toughest dude. You could be the toughest motherfucker, and all it takes is somebody just come up behind you, hit He's, you, or you're face to face with them, but they just sucker you, bro. Yeah. Because human heads aren't built to fucking take <laughs> elbows fist. and knees and yeah. kicks. Because we used like. Our ancestral primates, our ancestors, we used weapons, man. Yeah. Like, every war was fought with sword. Like, dudes would be four and a half feet tall with a five-foot sword, yeah. bro. And they'd be on a horse. Yeah. We were just killing each other with weapons. If, they, if everything was just settled with fist fights, like, you know, there'd just be one big dude yeah. beating everybody. See, but it, it, to win, to become the ultimate street fighter, that's a new show. I'm going to pitch it to Spike. No, you'd have to wear a helmet. Ultimate street fighter. A helmet and a bulletproof vest. Yeah. Imagine you uh, <laughs> Imagine you could, like, you just got into a fight at Hess and you just started throwing knees and elbows. You would kill everybody. Yeah. Nobody would expect that. Well, I if, suppose. If you're like, hey, let's square up. You square up and just boom. You fucking smack somebody with an elbow right on their jaw and they're not expecting it. Yeah. And you know, I'm not I'm talking like somebody that knows how to throw elbows, not just me. That's why you should never get into fights because no. this dude could be... Maybe like he's half your size. Yeah, he's just scared. Like, gonna... Most fighters are like really lean. You yes. know, they don't look like jacked. fighters, man. No, no. If I'm gonna fight somebody, I'm gonna go for the really, really jacked guy that I know he can't move like me, or I'm gonna fight the, the loud guy because the loud guy is usually the biggest pussy. Always. Sometimes. Always. Sometimes. Most of the time. I would I've, say... I've seen some loud guys that just fuck dudes up. Okay. though. it depends. I'd say I'd say like. 70% of the time, the loud guy's a pussy. Yeah. Because I know a lot of loud guys that are pussies. That'll do a lot of shit talking and won't do shit. Actually, in contrast, the dude that's usually the toughest is really quiet. Always. So that's... I don't that's go the, for the quiet That's the contrast, though. Yeah. Quiet, small guys, you got to watch out. Yeah. The quiet... Because the thing is, is when you know you can fuck someone up, you don't need to tell people. Yeah. That's the thing. Is most of the people that are in martial arts and they know they're like, if it comes down to this, I'm going to fuck this guy up. 
they're not going to be out there talking shit because they already know. Right. But the guy that doesn't like that, this talking shit with the loud mouth, usually he's like, I'm going to kick this guy's ass because it's like he's the pussy. Yeah. And I'm not a, like, I'm, I'm neither. I don't fight. And I don't talk. I talk shit. So I used to, sometimes when I'm drunk, like I, at the beginning, like I'm just not. Well, that's the people that are loud are intoxicated, man. So that's how you can tell too. That's what I mean. You know, because if like, like, let's say you're a tough guy, but you're drunk as fuck. Yeah. You know, there's the other problem with street fights. There's never a sanctioned agreement. You know, like there's never like, no. all right, guys, we're going to square off. Yeah. No sucker punch. We have a floor mat. So yeah. if you fall, yeah. you won't smash your head on yeah. pavement. Uh, these are the rules. No eye gouges. Uh, no ball punches. Yeah. No ball punches. No dick kicks. Yeah. You know, no strikes behind the head. None of that ever happens. No. What happens is you're in a bar and then somebody just swings. Yeah. And then or there's a bottle or some shit. Yeah. Or if and you get jumped, bro. That's fucked up. That's too. fucked up. You ever been too. jumped before? No. Oh, I have. It's not really? fun. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. It's fucked. I could not imagine. Humbles you, though. Pardon? Everything, like, once you get jumped, the rest of your life's, like, not that bad. Yeah, it definitely humbles you, but it's like, man, I, I don't want to, like, I would, the, the, the fear of being absolutely defenseless and having, like, three people, like, that can do anything to you is fucking scary. Oh, it's fucked up. That's but, scary. But the thing is, though, once that happens, like, you know what? Can't get much worse than that. Yeah, that's true. You know true. what I mean? It's like uh, if you like uh, if you're in a near death experience. Yeah. Like, you know what? That was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But I'm I'm okay now. But some people the opposite, man. Some people can't handle it. No. Some Dude, people, some people they'll fucking that's they'll go the, nuts. that's what the that's what you got to worry about. If uh, like let's say your buddy at the bar he saw that guy he's like oh that's the guy that beat me up a couple years ago. What if he's like oh, I'm gonna fucking stab him in the neck, bro? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Goes to jail. Yeah. Intoxicated. Yeah. Get fucking triggered. Yeah, man. Fuck. Triggered is is the good word for that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people get triggered. Men are like that, dude. Women yeah. not so, they're not as uh they're not as fight physical. Yeah. But I've, seen ruthless. Ca- I've seen cat fights, but it's mostly but women are bullying. Ruthless. They yeah, will they are. fucking rip apart another girl. Oh yeah. Like rip apart them. Girls will fuck like, they will fucking kill that person's social life. No, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say they have a different, like, much more maniacal. Like, let's say, yeah. let's say, two girls have a beef. The one chick will like try to fuck her boyfriend. Yeah, or, something. or like turn her. You know what? I, the, uh, there's this one girl I know. She dated my buddy years ago. Yeah. You know what she did to him? They broke up. Every girl he started talking to, she became friends with. Ooh. So then they all were like, "Oh, I can't talk to you because I'm friends with her now." And I was like. Damn. Well, where was he meeting these girls though? Like, how did she have access to his circle it's of Hamilton, wheels? It's Hamilton, man. It's Hamilton. Like, I, everybody knows everybody. But did she find them through social media? Through social media and like, just you, you know, people. Man, motherfucker, right? Yeah, and they were all hot too. Yeah, he's got, he's got a good track record. No, hot chicks stick together, bro. Yeah, nah, a lot of hot. If you always notice, a lot of hot chicks, their main friend is not as hot as them. No, but that's that. There's a girl they've known forever. Yeah, it's no, not but like that a girl new chick. also makes them look better. Yeah, but it's never a new chick. Like, yeah, I just met this new chick. Like, I'm way hotter than her. Yeah, no, I know, but girls People definitely. Tend to, girls like to girls like to be around girls that are less pretty. But there's this also this, there's this, this group that I saw last night at Radius. Yeah, all of the girls fucking tens. Nice, all tens, and you're like, oh, they're so fucking hot. Well, who's holding the purses, bro? Was there a purse holder? No, no purse holder. Man, right? I'm telling you, th- there's no flaws in the group. Wow, I'm like, yeah, I. I I could show you all of them after. I'm not going to name them. If they listen, they might know who they are. Dudes are different, man. You Dudes got are diff- Dudes fat guys, skinny guys, short guys, tall you just guys. You have to be cool. Yeah. That's it. It's just like you have to be like, you got to be a, a, cool with what we do. Yeah. Because well, when we go out, it's not like, yo, who's watching us? What does our pack look like? Yeah. But girls, it's like, I'm like, I want to be seen with, it's a status thing. Like, I want to yeah. be seen. And you know what? This isn't all girls or no. all guys. This is just the extremes that you see. At a nightclub yeah. in a particular city like yeah. Hamilton, right? Yeah. Like if you go to Hess, you know, everybody's at their best. They want to look good, yeah. you know. Nobody's man, trying to. Hess used to be so much better, man. Just the crowd. It's pretty the, lit now. The crowd buddy. was different. <laughs> it's just like, it was just like, Hess used to be where the mature people were. Interesting. Now it's Augusta, though. Yeah. Like when I'm telling you, when I graduated high school, I was 17 going to fucking Rock Bar. And like, you would come out in the street in the middle of the summer and the street would be packed till 4.30. No fights. It would all be like no fights. Really? No Maybe there would be eh? like a couple scuffles, but it was never like craziness. Like I, it's just progressively got worse and worse and worse. Sizzle used to be – Sizzle. I remember used to go and be going to Sizzle and it would be like, who's got a booth this weekend? Everybody would be there. You would know everybody and like it was just amazing. But the best nightlife Hamilton's ever seen was Anthony. When Anthony was in his promoting days, like quick 
background on, on, on my friend Anthony T. Domenico. Shout out Anthony, Yoga Fest, whatever you're doing now. No. Fucking Anthony. He's a beauty. But yo, he used to throw high school dances in high school that were better than the, the high school. Like be, my high school stopped having dances because of him. Then when we were, it was 2014, he, uh, he started working with this place called Sarkoa, which is like the nicest, I'd say it's probably top five nicest venues and it's shut down now. Is that where Agave is? Was it on Hess Street? No, no, it's it's at it's at the Bayfront. Oh, okay. It's at the Bayfront, and right. like it has the sickest patio. So what Anthony did is he started throwing nightlife at Sarcoa on Friday nights, mm-hmm. bro. The first like three weeks, because An- what Anthony's strategy was was like target girls, and like be like bring your whole group. So the first like three weeks of it was like, and he got us free booth and bottles of Ciroc every weekend. First like three weeks was seventy percent girls, thirty percent guys. It's like and Western. Yes, but the girls were all fucking hot. Nice. And then once the word got out, the line used to be like 200 people long. Right. Like, it was insane. It was the best nightlife I've seen in Hamilton. Mm-hmm. I've, I've yet to see something like that. Like, it would be packed. They'd be making like 80 grand a night. There was every bottle sold out. Bro, like, there's a retarded profit margin at bars. When you're selling booze, like $10 drinks, man. It's retarded. It's crazy. It's fucking retarded. Now, the more I think about it, remember this whole like $50,000 that bars are paying for... Uh, extra pay policing yeah like i wouldn't be surprised if they clear way more than that yeah. within a couple good weeks man bartenders that like heist nora make like like three four hundred dollars a night yeah that's crazy like the fucking bottle service girl bottle service girls are where it's at yeah that's where you make money right especially in toronto my buddy was telling me like some of the girls will make like a thousand dollars cash a night bro it's so funny because i know girls I that like what? they've worked what? as they've worked as servers right yeah. so like uh, uh high-end restaurant or whatever yeah and they make mad tips. I've actually worked as a server and bartender technically, and I never cared if people tip me. Like people have asked before, like, "Yo, should I tip you?" And I'm like, "I don't care." Really? Yeah, whatever. I'm yeah, like, true. it's not a big deal, man. Yeah. Because I do the job. Well, I'm not living off of that job. Yeah. I'm living off other shit. But from my perspective, you don't have to tip. That's what I think. I think it's relative to the experience. Right. It's relative to the experience, right? And you can you could play by that. You could be like, okay, if I have a good experience, yeah. I'll tip. But you don't necessarily have to do that to support them because it's their they're the reason that they're at that job yeah it's there but anyways what i'm getting All to people is shit on you for saying that buddy let them shit on me yeah i've known people particularly girls that work in high-end restaurants and they've gotten shit loads of tips right mm-hmm. but then once in a while somebody won't tip and they get fucking pissed oh bro my ex-girlfriend got mad because we went to to fucking kelsey's and we had two beers each yeah and i tipped like 10 percent and she's like, what? I was like, the fucking broad brought us one or two beers. Right. She didn't make my experience like extravagant. I was like, yeah. she doesn't really deserve anything. Well, here's the thing, man. She would like, over tip though because she's the ser- servers. They all over tip. They're all like, I only do 20%. Nothing less. Well, they take pride in that. Yeah. I'm like, well, go fuck They'll yourself. T- it's like being <laughs> vegan. Like I'm vegan. Yeah. I tip. I'm vegan. I'm a, I'm a server. So I tip a lot. Yeah. You know, they, they don't get paid. It's like, all right, we get it. You're a great win. person. That's what I mean. It's like, yo, don't shit on me because, <laughs> because it's like. Again, for me to tip extremely well, I used to be a dickhead and just tip all the time. But then I was like, yo, I'm wasting money on like your tip should be relative to your experience. If the server goes above and beyond and does shit and just not even above and beyond, but makes me feel good. Yeah, I will tip. I'm very generous. But if they don't do nothing, I'm like, why the fuck do I have to tip this person if they didn't do anything? Well, from my perspective, you brought that's, me the, my food. Yeah, well, that, that's what I mean. Like, I well, we don't get paid like even babies. before I worked as a server slash bar whatever. Like, I still had the same opinion about it. But once I was in there, I realized it's actually quite minimal what I have to do a lot of the time. <laughs> I bring, pe- I take orders, I punch it in and on machine, yeah. and I bring the food yeah. and I go, hey, hey, how was everything? Hey. That's it. Yeah. You don't need to tip me. No. I'm making a base wage. And you know what? If that wasn't enough for me to live off, I'd find something else yeah. to do. But well, I do not deserve like a shitload of money for what I do. No. And the and cooks do. Yes. The people that are putting like, honestly, it's, it's a Yo, free dishwashers market. Dishwashers too, man. Like dishwashers, dishwashers shit on. cooks, the people that are like physic- physical labor yeah. is very hard. But the trade off is if you're a server slash bartender, you have to have good communication skills. Yes. You have to be confident. Yeah. Plus, if you put on a certain, uh, uh, I wouldn't say an act, but you can work for your money. Yeah. If you give them a really good experience, people it, feel entitled to, to tip. Or, or not entitled to, uh, uh, they, they feel like they should tip. They you. want to. Yeah. That's the difference is they want to. Right. If, as a server, that's where you're going to make money is if you realize that 
you're in control. If you're nice and you do small little things go a long way in everything, mm-hmm. I think. Like you don't have to be extravagant, but if you do the little things like and you're constantly coming to check up on me and you're making me feel good, you give a good recommendation, like you you give me a good experience, I will tip well. Right. But if it's not a good experience, well, I like I'll give you like fucking 10%. You're still making something, but it's like like what the fuck do you want? No, absolutely. Even at like bars, man. It's like these bartenders, they're like they, they feel entitled that you're like you have to tip. It's like why? No, you don't have to. You're fucking Yeah, like the like, I've what? seen some of the numbers that these uh, people pull too. It's ridiculous. Like in my pers- I'm sure there's dudes that pull a lot, but from the girls I know, they're like pretty good looking. They they work for their money obviously. Yeah. But like when they take all the like let's say they work uh you know a 10-hour shift or whatever. They have their base wage. They make an hour, which is pretty low. But it's like six bucks or seven, eight bucks. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, it's like eight or nine bucks or whatever. But they make so much from tips. That's why that they do the job, obviously. Anyways, though, they, they would pull hundreds of dollars yeah. during their entire shift. And when you take all the money they made base wage plus the tips and you put them together, they're pulling like 35 bucks an hour. Yeah. 35 bucks an hour. And the tax man only knows about 10 bucks an hour. Yeah. Because nobody's claiming that they no. make the extra 25 an hour. All that money goes to them for cash. All, all cash. cash and dude. guess what they're doing? They're bringing food. Hey, how's your food? Oh, you know what? That's not on the menu, but I'll talk to the chef. Yeah. You know, like that. I, I've been there. Like, obviously, some bars probably have to, like, you know, like some, maybe there's like a group of people, fucking 12 people, they're ordering bullshit, <sighs> gluten free. I mean, it could be tricky, but at the same time, it's like still, the principle is you're making a shitload of money that you don't, you're not entitled to it. Yeah. You know? I feel like people complain more uh, in like shitty jobs that mean nothing to society than like people that are in like jobs that can actually change the world or change people's lives. Like yeah. you hear like I might get shit for this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Like teachers for me, they complain the most a little bit. Yeah. Oh my God, man. They complain. Man, if you ever well, depends like, what, well, actually, if you ever hung around like high school or like elementary teachers, they feel they like act as if like they like their life is so hard. I'm like, okay, yeah. Y- y- you finish at three every day. Dude, elementary, sc- elementary school and middle school teachers, they have a great gig. Bro, they have the best gig around. Fuck yeah, they do. Other than being like a business owner and a millionaire, they yeah. got an unreal gig. You get paid really well. Yeah. You get a lot of vacations. Mm-hmm. A lot. You get the whole fucking summer off. Two right. months. Mm-hmm. Nobody else gets the summer off. But then they still complain. They're like, oh, these kids are this and this. It's like you signed up for it. When you yeah. sign up for something... I don't want to. F- that's what pisses me off about nine to fivers is when they sign up for it, they're doing it, and then they fucking complain about it the whole time. I'm like, well, then do something else. Yeah, not Figure even not even out. teachers, man. Anybody that complains in general that's it. about their profession, they chose it. It's like, yo, you chose it. It's like we yeah. all have different circumstances. I get it. Yeah, that I kills me it. a lot. Like, you know, like you know, like art majors or philosophy majors, oh, they're like, yeah, man, I spent all this money, I can't get a job. Well, what you the fuck went, did you think? Yeah, what, what do you think was going to happen? You went into that field. You know, I'm glad I didn't really go to school for anything. I did, no. but I just didn't. I failed. Bro, I've been like, to school fucking three times, yeah, man. I went three or f- three times, and I just, I just, I just didn't like. Yeah, just wasn't connected. Well, you to just want to, you want to, uh, you want to please your parents. You want to please yeah. society. But then you figure it out, and you know, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's it's tricky, dude. People, people fucking complain about everything. Everything. Here we are complaining about complainers. Yeah. But well, and, and like I'm trying to, you know what I I noticed too. Is like I've noticed this week I've seen people I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. My age. And I used to hang around them like 2012. And you know what I noticed is none of them fucking grew. They nope. didn't grow as humans. Nobody nobody challenges themselves to grow. And like I do a lot of things that I look stupid and I sound stupid, but I'm constantly trying to get better at my life. I'm constantly trying to think like, what do I like? What do I don't like? I'm conscious of what I'm doing. So because I'm conscious of what I'm doing, good shit happens. And like I'm 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 picking, I'm setting the right like it's like I'm putting the bricks down to build the house the right way. Well, you're woke, dude. Yeah, I'm woke. Yeah. People, a majority of people aren't woke. And then they, no. they, they don't like, they, they want everything handed to them. And they don't realize that you have to go out and seek the knowledge. Yeah. Like you can't just be given knowledge. That's right. why this fake motivation doesn't work. Because it's people just saying, you have the power. You can do this. You can do that. Which I fully believe. You could be anything you want. You Michael. can. And I fully believe that. But... You have to fucking do it. Yeah, you got to plan it and put think, in the work. And you got to believe in it. You got to like, you, you have to be confident in yourself that like, yo, I'm the best. Nothing's stopping me and I'm never going to stop. You also have to play the rules. And yeah. by rules, I mean the free market. Yeah. You could be the best motherfucking knitter of all time. Like you knit 
fucking, you know, carpets, rugs, whatever. But nobody, if nobody cares about knitting, <laughs> nobody's going to pay for <laughs> no it. Gonna give you shit. Nobody's going to watch. Yeah. You know, you're fucked. Yeah. But here's the thing. As far as being woke, like, I always want to just jump into, uh, I don't, like, I consider myself uh, somewhat woke. I think you're pretty woke. But man. a couple years, fucking woke. What a goofy term. I know. Woke. I'm a woke cunt. But anyways, a couple years ago, oh, I was I was a shit show mess. I still am, to yeah. be to be honest. But you should have seen me last night. Yeah, there's there's people though that aren't woke yet, but they're gonna be. Yes. They're gonna figure it out. And I remember before I knew what I was uh, doing, before I was self aware of myself and my best interests and how like uh, uh, I needed to change things in my life. So like get on a fitness routine, eat better, sleep yeah. better, become disciplined. Before I did that, if somebody came into my life and was like, yo, you need to do this, you need to do that, and they judged me for it, I'd be like, what the fuck, yeah. man? You well, and that's not right. I used to do that to people Yeah, because I thought I knew everything, and then right. I realized, right. like, yo, you can't do that to people because they need to figure it out for themselves. But, yeah, man. like You want to help people, though. Yeah, because you're like, tempting. yo, you can do it. I love motivating people. Right. And I do it like at weird times, and people like get annoyed because I'm like, you can. F- I just go off. Yeah. And I just try and be like, yo, like, fuck, you can do it. Like, look what I'm doing. Like, and I'm, I'm nothing. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck am I? Yeah. And that's something I've realized recently, too, is like, who, I'm nothing. I'm not, like, on this planet, at the end of the day, what the fuck am I? Bro, we're monkeys that walk. We're nothing, yeah. I mean, we're the top of the food chain, but, but that's it. That's it. But if top of the food chain, because where we live and how we live, yeah. put us in the jungle, buddy, we ain't shit. Nah, we we're ain't fucked, bro. We're fucked. But you know what? We... Worked for it. Like yeah, no, hundreds of thousands of years. We yeah. ate you. Bro, like uh, when the last uh, bro science 101, bro, bro history. Bro science 101. Uh, the ice age, the fucking population of Earth was like less than 10,000 people. Yeah. So we were close to being gonzo. Yeah. Who'd be in control if there was no humans? Like what would, what would run the Earth, do you think? I don't know. I think it would be all relative to where you are. Do you think it'd be apes still? Like they'd find a way back again? Yeah, maybe. Probably. I don't know. It, again, it, imagine, imagine humans were gone tomorrow. Yeah. Like tomorrow we all just disappeared. Yeah. But then we could all see and observe the earth and see what happens. That would be fascinating. So the earth would probably be like finally, yo. What? <laughs> the earth would be like, yo, finally. Finally, these, these cunts are gone. Cunts. Fuck are off. Gone. <laughs> yo, why does everybody hate the word cunt? I don't know. What is it about that word that like just angers people? Okay, here's the thing. I lived in Australia for a year and everybody, all they ever say is like, what's up, cunt? Girls so, too. Oi, cunt. Yeah. Like, oh, I cunt. Fuck off, cunt. You know? Why? Why there they say it? It's like buddy. It's, it's like, like buddy, dude. Yeah, here it's you know? like, oh my god, Jack, I don't know, bro. You just said dude, cunt. over there, shout out to Australia, dude. Honestly, Is it a good time. No SJ dubs. Really? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. That's so beauty. Maybe. Well, I don't know about now, buddy. Yeah, this was true. a while. This is almost ten years ago now. Yeah, but I feel like they're like uh, they dude, don't put up with bullshit, crazy bro. People. Yeah, they're crazy because yeah. life's good, man. They have a great economy. They're very strict with who they let in. They, I mean, it's ironic because the country was founded on criminals, but they're very strict <laughs> with refugees and criminals. Yeah, and they're, they're fucking like, strict. They'll like turn a boat around in the middle of the sea. Yeah, they're Get savage. Get the fuck dude. out of here. Half the people there, or not half. I'm, I'm doing making doing up statistics, but a lot of them live on the dole there. Do you know what the dole is? No. It's welfare in Australia, really? right? Yeah, so lots of people are just paid for by the government, man. Really? Because, look, Australia has a very small population. Yeah, it's like 20 They have million. a shitload of resources that they've managed to make a bunch of industries with, and they're just a very successful comp- uh, country. It's run well. The people are happy. Everybody gets along. Yeah. No SJ dubs. No SJ Everybody's dubs. Everybody's happy. SJ dubs, they got to they gotta calm down. Yeah, and they're not racist either. Like, yeah. everybody... I mean, there's a lot of racists there. There's lots of racists everywhere, but... There's a lot of racists everywhere. Australia just... They fuck. They get it. Yeah. You know, like Canada. Yeah. Canada, we're pretty good. Except the SJ dub part. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah. The, 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 and we got our prime minister is pretty much an SJ dub. Yeah. Trudeau's kind of a cuck, unfortunately. He's a huge cuck. Yeah. But you know, I, I voted for him for the pot. Really? Such a the dumb pot, decision. Eh? Interesting. Yeah. And going, looking back, I'm like, what the? F- I just was not like, I was sold on some stupid like message that I kind of heard. Right. And I didn't do any research on it. And I made a, just a bad decision. Well, we never would have saw a pot. During uh, if Harper got reelected, uh, he would he wanted to make uh, stricter uh, yeah, jail he, like jail terms for what m- m- for minor drug charges. What he wanted more prisons? Yeah, man, he's in, he's got to stop. T- he's got to look at the Americans and how they fucked up and realize that like, man, drugs? Canada's going to be a world leader. Who in Canada is going to be a world leader in uh, the pot? I wouldn't say a movement, but like. Canada's going to make it legal, uh-huh. and everybody's going to see, kind of like in Colorado and California where it's legal in the states, two small states, but not, well, like Canada is going to make the world realize, hey, 
you can function. You could be uh, uh, what's what's the term like a very de- developed country, and it's legal and everything can run smoothly. And the world's going to see that and be like, okay, now we're going to adapt and have weed legal. See, I personally right? think all drugs should be legal. I think yeah. if you're over eighteen, that's I agree, but that's different. That's different. It is. Yeah. It is, yeah. and like that is a lot of problems. But I think that like if somebody wants to do blow, they should have access to clean blow, not the shit with fentanyl, <sighs> like the clean shit. Clean blow. Oh, that's. F- same that's with, tricky though. How would you how would you monitor? Well, again, this is just an, my opinion. Would they have stations like to test concept? the quality of blow? Yeah. Okay. It would, it would yeah. have to be controlled by the government or like. Claim it the government company. selling blow. Pardon? Claim it like the government selling you blow. Yeah. You let the government sell blow? For for sure, it's better than fucking Fuck, the drug dealer I don't know down about the street, that, buddy. Because the government's more like you can hold them more responsible for chopping it with shit. Whereas right. the guy down the street. He could just start throwing random ass shit in it, and when it's not going to come back to him. That's Doesn't true, but fuck. if the government's selling blow, I just think dude, it's like people. Fuck. I think if people want to do drugs, they have the right to. They yes. fucking make oxycotton's legal and Percocets, and they prescribe it like yeah. no tomorrow. But That's it's true. like That's I true. can't go fucking. I don't do blow, but I can't go like smoke a joint or if somebody my buddy can't go snort a line if he wants to, he should be allowed. I think so. I don't like. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. You should be able to do anything you like. If you want to kill yourself, you should be able to. You know, I'm I, not. I like, had a if, huge argument about that. If you want to jump off a bridge, or if you want to do heroin, or if you want to fucking don't harm anybody, just don't harm anyone. Yeah. Do whatever you want. You can if harm you yourself though. Yeah. If you don't, if you're not, if I'm, if I like heroin, this is an example. And right. every day I wake up, I shoot heroin. I go to my job. I do my job. I come home. I shoot heroin. I go to sleep. Yeah. I'm not hurting anyone. As long as you do your job sober, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like what a, if I'm better on heroin? Fuck, I don't know. I've never you're operating. Heroin. I'm it, not advocating do drugs. <laughs> yeah. I just think it should be like, it should be like. D- d- I wouldn't operate a crane lives. on heroin. It should be more monitored, man. People lose their lives over these addictions to alcohol yeah. and fucking drugs. Like they should, they should really like, it's, it's, I don't know. I just, even like in high school, I remember people like when they started drinking and smoking pot, I was against it. I was like. I was yeah. just never really into it. And then, like, as I got older, I got more into it. But it's like, I can really see how people lose their lives over these things mm-hmm. because it's, the high is so good. Yeah. Like, people, nobody does drugs because it's not good. That's you true. Know what I mean, they don't, I don't smoke pot because I, I, I love it, you know? Yeah. But, like, I'm also aware that, like, I have to, like, be sober sometimes. So I'm like taking to, two weeks off. I'd like to learn a lot more about. Because uh, I know they have programs like this in Spain or Portugal. Portugal, so, everything's legal. Is it Portugal? Portugal? Yeah, everything's legal Republic. there. And Czech Republic. Everything's yeah. legal. And I'd Amsterdam. Like, I don't know how it affects the rest of the uh, country as far as... I mean, I'm sure there's pros and cons to it. Of course. There's pros and cons to everything. Mm-hmm. There's pros and cons to not having it legal. Like, all yeah. the amount of the amount of people that are in jail for just doing them, that's not right. Yeah. No. Especially in the States, bro. Guys got, like, a joint. They got, like, life sentences. <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, the States is fucked. That's fucked up, man. Yeah. I think they're working on it, though. They are, but the thing is... is it's on a state-by-state state basis, though. Yeah. That's the problem. There's yes. fucking 50, 52. 52 or some shit. Yeah, yeah fuck, fuck the States. Fuck I don't them. know how many states there are. I don't even know how many provinces there are. 12? Is it 12? 13. 13? 13. Yeah, and three territories? Fucking live here. I don't even know. Yeah, man, fuck that's you. useless information. No, <laughs> One is so, like gun to the head. Like how many provinces are in Canada? Like, f- okay. I could name them. Kill me. I could name them. Yeah? Yeah, I'll do it right now. We okay. got, I'll, go, I'll start from the east. You got yeah. PEI, Nova Scotia, right. Quebec, uh, Newfoundland, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia. Then you got none of it. Uh, oh, Yukon mm. and Northwest Territories. I think that's 13. Yeah, I think I think you nailed it. Yeah. I think I did. I might be missing one. Northwest Territories, Yellowknife's in there, right? Yeah, Yellowknife is, Yellow is a city. In Northwest Territories. Yeah, Yellowknife's a city. It's not a uh, province. Yeah, no. See, I, I mean... I'm good with, like... I'm very good with directions, and I have a photographic memory for sure. Well, here's the truth, man. We have too much access to information. Way I learn much. shit all the time, it's too much. man. All the... I'm always talking to people saying, like, was it was you I was talking to this about? And they'll be like, N- what? Uh, your, your brain just doesn't have yeah. enough room for all the shit that you're exposed to, especially, like, if you're on social media all the time. Yeah. You're, 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 your brain, like, think about, just think about the monkeys a couple hundred years ago, right? Yeah. Can you imagine you just give one of them a phone? They're not going to want to do anything else. No. The, 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 yeah. the rush, it's like a drug. It, it, man, it's, it's crazy. Literally, notifications is a drug. Yeah. It's addictive as fuck. It I releases know. dopamine in your brain, which is the yeah. same thing everything else does. That's the pattern lots of people get stuck in. They post something, and then that's... Like, if you post something, there's nothing wrong with, like, posting something. Like, yeah, I want to show my friend. But some people, 
that's their uh, their way to feel good about themselves yes. is to get those likes, you know? Yes, because then Double, they feel wanted. Yeah, that's all they do yeah. though. Like if you, like, let's say you, there's a bounce, right? Like let's say you work out, you eat healthy, you know, you're very happy in life and then you get that too, like cool. But if that's all you have. Man, it's bad. If that's your na- main source. Going back to what you were saying about girls and selfies, there were some girls, I, I analyzed their profiles and they hide a certain part. There's just one girl specifically. She hides a certain part of her face in every photo. And I'm like, there's something to that. There's more to that. Like, she'll always, like, with her phone, be covering a part of her face. And I fucking looked. Interesting. Like a mole? No, like a different part. Like, she'll she'll hold the phone. It's always selfies, but it's always blocking a part of her face. A different part. Right. So I'm like, she's always only showing half her face, which is fucking weird, man. Is it the same half or a different half? Different. Every selfie is different. Huh. This was years ago that I realized that, but I've definitely realized that social media is good and it's very bad. Bro, I'm so good at identifying how much a chick weighs based on the headshot now. Because of shit like Tinder? Yeah, oh yeah, that's bad. I, I you ever go through your match and then you look back, you're like, whoa, 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 what wait the a fuck second. Was I thinking? Yeah, bro. Well, girls, people catfish bigger, online you know? now. Catfishing's huge. Yeah, what, what's catfishing? So catfishing? People always tell me is, about that. It's portraying a. Like, an image of who you are that's not yeah. real. Right. You know what I mean? But as a joke or for fun? or No, just to make yourself look better so people are interested oh. in you. So it's big on Tinder and Bumble because it's like right. nobody takes it. I fucking, when I had it, I haven't had it since like before my ex, like fucking June or some shit. Or yeah. It's probably, it might be different now. I don't know. It's been a I haven't while. had it in a couple months. I don't think I really can. I never really hung out. I've only hung out with one girl from Tinder once and I, had, I actually worked with her at the time. And oh, then we matched. True. Okay. Because in Ford, there's like five thousand people. Right. And that's, thank God. I didn't, bro, she was good. Magdalena, I love her. But bro, the problem with she's it, awesome. The problem. Well, I wouldn't even say it's a problem. It's just like you can, I can, I, I, I can know if a chick's fat based on her yeah. headshot because they all. It's it's kind of like if you want to look ripped, right? Yeah. I'm sure girls for dudes, it's like, oh, like the lighting. That's why it looks like he has a yeah. six pack yeah. or like a huge arm, yeah. right? It's the same with dudes looking at chicks that are like fat, and some dudes yeah. like fat. I don't, but some chicks like fat chicks. Or some dudes like. I like a I like a little bit of meat sometimes. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I like fertile women. You know, Mer- like, most important thing like to me good is, waist, is, is face. The hourglass. Yeah, most figure, important you know? thing is, is face, though, to me. Yeah, like that. No, okay. Well, that bro, think about wrong. it from an evolutionary that standpoint. Wrong. You want somebody that's attractive to the extent of like, man, my kids. Yeah. Would be better off. Yeah. With her as opposed to with her. This uh, as opposed yeah. to her. Like, wow, she has really like good hair. Yeah. You know. Or well, like, and it just, it comes down to like, I just think it's like, it, it's on the inside too. That's yeah. important to me. Like I'm very like a conversation, like I'm very conversation driven. I suppose. Yeah. And like, I need to like, even if I just having sex with a girl, like I can't just have random sex. No? No, nah, I can't. Not anymore. Doesn't eh? do it for Getting me. old now. Doesn't do Maturing. it for me. Maturing. I need a connection. Bro, I get a high off the girl liking me. Like that's what, that's what gets me more. And like pleasuring the shit out of them. Yeah. And the only way you can truly pleasure girls when you get to know her because then you get to know what she likes and then you can do what she likes yeah, as that's opposed true. to like if you randomly just fuck once you're never going to perform well the first two times you're never like it's more awkward and then it's like after like four or five six seven times you, you, you get to know each other and like that's what i like more it can get complicated though. it depends like the momentum you have like let's say you're just banging chicks all the time yeah, like you're going to be like in sh- you're in banging shape you know yeah but if it's been a dry spell two yeah. minutes pff, done. yeah no i can last pretty long now yeah. This well, year's been this year's been my least amount or not my no, no last year's my least amount. Right. But uh this year's been like not like hot, a lot of numbers, but it's been my most consistent and like I'd say best year overall for women. Good for, for you. Sure. Well, you know what? Here's the truth, man. You're becoming the best version of yourself. Yeah. There you go. So that's yeah. it. Here's here's the uh here's the secret, well, man. And I lost Become a bunch the best of version of yourself. And I lost a bunch of weight and I got pretty fit, so I think Yeah, there you, you know, go. People were more into that. Well, you improved yourself to yeah, a point where like, you know, it, it's easier. Whatever it is, like let's say uh I guess in your particular case, you saw success with women. Some people they just want to get better at making friends yeah. or maybe they want to get a better job, yeah. so they improve themselves. Yeah, I I I I've, I've yeah, I've been good with that. Yeah, I've that's, definitely been good with that. Now I have women coming up to me and saying, you're fucking hot. And I'm that's like, sick. That w- it happened to me multiple times this year. And like yeah. the feeling is like, I was like, damn, that feels good. And especially yeah. when it's a hot girl, you're like, damn. It's a weird feeling. It's a dude. weird feeling. Yeah. It's a weird feeling. I didn't know. What, I don't know what to do. I'm like, uh, yeah, it's thanks. Awkward. It's but awkward, now it's man. like, yeah, now it's like, and you know what has been the biggest difference maker 
is the confidence of me of me of me being me right now i'm now i literally i used to think like i had to change who i was for for girls to like me it's a cuck move don't do that such a cuck move and yeah. now i'm like yo melvin's who gives a fuck plus i've figured out a formula that works for me there you go and like it's pretty fucking good yeah but, but look you you maximize your own full potential man yeah it's weird that feeling of people coming up to you and being like yo like like hitting like girls never hit on guys in public unless you're just like a fucking stud and a half right yeah or they recognize you from somewhere yeah and even like girls and just regular people they come up to me all the time and it's great because uh you know i maybe like like the way i met you dude you fucking messaged me yeah. on instagram and then we sat next to each other at the place and we just met like that yeah but there's all these connections and relationships whether it's friends business partners or the sexual aspect to it you meet all these people but you never meet because one person doesn't want to make the first move of hey yeah i'd like to get to know you or hey yeah. like you know like we should date or hey like dude you're funny I, i'm funny like let's be friends yeah you know and I've that's become, the problem with social media yeah I've, I've become better at making the first move yeah yeah like i'm not scared anymore right especially with women now i honestly couldn't give a fuck if they say nothing yeah it's just like hey what's up yeah how's it going same with dudes too, Michael. man. You go up to a group like, yo, bro, like... What's up, man? Yeah, like, how's it going? Yeah. You know, what... Want to hang out? You want to rock climb? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Hey, dude, you want to hang out? Guys, that, you said yeah. that on the podcast we did on mine. It was like, guys are... They think you're gay because you're like, hey, man. It's true, man. What's it's up, tough. bro? Yeah. I just want to be friends. That's it. Don't give a fuck about anything else. It's the same thing as women, too. If you talk to a girl, they're like, whoa, you want to fuck me or something? Yeah. Like, but why if, are you talking I'm telling to me? You, if, if you, if you with women... This is a lesson for everybody out there. I'm only going to say it once. But if you Do just step. fucking listen to them and don't try and have sex with them the first two or three dates, I can guarantee you date four, you're going to fuck them. There you go. Guarantee. That's what they call it, fourth base, dude. Third or fourth. I, man, depending on the girl, depending on the girl, you could do it on the first date. But I'm telling you, girls, girls want what they can't have. So if you act like you don't want them and you're not like fucking trying to fuck them like every other guy is, they go nuts but don't give out the you. secret dude i'm Everybody's giving up my secret fucking know now bro it's all right man it's, two, it's an hour and 46 that's minutes true. In. like 15 people are gonna listen to i'm this not anyway. i'm not late. <laughs> i'm not on my instagram live this isn't my podcast so it's like yeah that's true man it's okay fuck but i'm telling you that man that is like and i got i talked about it with a girl i told her the last girl i hooked up with i told her that formula and she's like fuck it, it, it she's like damn and i was like yeah i knew what i was doing but why would you tell her that though because i didn't give a fuck because me funny. and her are pretty open with talking about it it's a weird situation going on with her yeah. i'm so confused yeah fuck i'm so confused i think something might have just shut yeah, off i don't know what that noise was but uh yeah i'm really confused in the sense of like yeah one of your cameras yeah just my shut camera's off. fucking fried yeah so this would probably be a good way to yeah wrap yeah. it up finish your thoughts what were you gonna say um, but uh let's check yeah you no it's just a weird situation what? with this girl it's really weird yeah yeah, she calls me like I fucking hate when girls call me dude or buddy. Yeah, I was like, we fucked. Well, why that's the friends. That's the friend zone move, man. No, but I like I I fuck her. Oh, that's that's weird. why I'm like, know. yo, I was like, yo, that there's no bigger turn off for me than a girl calling me dude or bro or man or buddy. I'm trying it's, to think, what's a bigger turn off? I'm trying to what's like what are the big bigger turn off for or me? red flag smell red flag smell oh yeah. smells huge. Oh, stinky pussy, stinky. Not breath, even, buddy. yeah, stinky anything. Just if I catch yeah. a bad whiff, not into it. Yeah. Especially at the beginning. Fuck. Especially at the beginning. Unconfident people too. Yeah, that turns me. Not even talking about like like chicks, but like if you're no guy and he just doesn't believe in himself, it's yeah, like, no, no, fuck, no. man. Fuck, man. Get believe it, in yourself. Yeah. Get it together, Get dude. Get it together, man. Like fuck, because yeah. if you hang out with people that I hate pessimistic people. Yeah, negative people. Yeah, I hate that shit. Melvin's, dude. Melvin's. Because they're just yeah. like, you can't do that. One guy told me I couldn't have a million dollar podcast. I was like, go fuck yourself. I was like, I'm <laughs> going to have one. And you're going to eat shit. And you're going to be doing what you're doing. Because he's like 40, stuck right. doing like whatever he's doing. Like never made anything of himself. And it's like, dude, don't tell me what I can and can't do. I suppose, yeah. I'm I mean, have a if somebody told podcast. me I couldn't be, you know, a black guy, I'd be like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Whatever I could try, but I yeah. Mean, but if you tell me, or like I want, I can't play in the NBA because I'm only you know six two and a half yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah, no, I just I just don't think anybody has the right to tell you what you can and can't do. I think it was that camera. Well, no, you know what? They have the right to tell you, but they can't make you listen, stop. Right? Yes, they do yeah. have the right to tell you. Those stop police. Yeah. That's careful. You gotta but be I, careful there. Stop police yeah. come after you. You want to wrap it up? Uh, yeah. I had this closing thought I was gonna talk. This was about. good, man. I just totally Remember forgot. Remember you said you only wanted to do an hour? It's an hour and fifty. Yeah. Well, how long has it been? This is the longest podcast I've ever done. Oh, fuck. Man, and me and you, it's just... It's Unedited, like, too. Yeah, me and you, like, we yeah. can't... 
It's just, it's, it's, did you even look at a note? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I had some, you know what? I'll pull those fuckers up right because uh, there were a couple things I wanted to ask you about. I know, but you want to keep going? Yeah, let me see real quick. Right. Oh, uh, today is International Men's Day. Did you know that? I had some sick stats I pulled up on it, actually. So today's, uh, I think every International Whatever Day is bullshit, to be fair. Like International Women's Day. Yeah. You know, uh, International Dog Day. Yeah, friend. Black Don't History Month, whatever. Like, it's stupid. Black it's history. just a fucking day. You know, like, why is there no White History Month? Yeah, well, that's the the old joke is like, well, every month is White History Month. You know, mm. but like, it's like that when you tie, you're giving a day power or yeah. a month's power, right? But International Men's Day, I read some interesting stats on it. Basically, International Women's Day, everybody loses their shit. Yeah, as far you know, like online impressions, social media, and whatnot. Yeah, everybody just goes wild as, mm-hmm. when it's International Women's Day. Everybody talks about rape and violence and harassment and, uh, you know, stuff to do with kids and yeah. uh, <laughs> paternal leave, all that shit. Basically, everywhere explodes because yeah. people, I guess specific, specifically women, they love to talk about, yeah. you know, uh, the, 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 all the problems that women face in such a great time to be alive in Western culture. But uh, what I was going to say is for International Men's Day, nobody cares. I've seen nobody, nobody mention it. You know nobody what I gives a do? shit, you know. Sorry to cut you off, but you know what I want to do is I want to take a story right after this saying... I'm here with Jack. Happy International Men's Day. Bud, we're live. Go ahead. But yeah. yeah. Can we do it? Yeah, sure. But I was going to read some of these stats, so check this out. All right, read it. Okay. 85% of men are homeless. How fucked up is that? 85% of men? Oh, no. <laughs> well, rip bro signs that one. 85% of homeless people are, are men. men. Are men. Yeah. Think about that for a second. That goes back to the, like, if a man has no use, other men won't take him in. Yeah. Women know. They'll nurture. They'll bring you in, you know? Yeah. And men... Like, if you're useless, you're, you're fucked. Yeah. You're basically fucked. Society yeah. doesn't care about you. No. 70% of homicide victims are men. 76% of suicides are men. That's really? a big one. That goes back to the uh, homeless one. Yeah. It, Can we say all three of those? Well, I suppose. Yeah. Bring it up, dude. Okay. All right. Just wrapping up the podcast. Found out it's International Men's Day. Throw some knowledge at us, Jack. All right, boys. International Men's Day. Check this out. 85% of homeless people are men. 70% of homicide victims are men. 76% of suicides are men. 40% of men domestic too. abuse victims are men. Men, on average, serve 64% longer in prison, which is fucked. Men, on average, are 3.4 times more likely to be in prisons than women when both committed the same crime. And finally, this is a big one, 92% of workplace deaths are men. Are men. How fucked is that? Because fu- yeah, most of the workplace deaths are at like factories and most of the people are men. Right. Or like construction. So how come women don't want to do those jobs? Because, oh, I don't want to get into the topic. See, bud, that's a whole new podcast. Yeah, actually, no, that's yeah. A, let's no. wrap it up. Yeah, it's quarter after six. I got some shit to do. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, that was respect. the first episode of uh, Pioneer Podcast number one. At the end, we got a little bit uh, silly, started pulling out the phones and shit. Yeah, sorry. But uh, most of the time, they're not going to be like that. No. So uh, where can everybody uh, see your shit, Michael Zakaria? Check me out, M or Michael Zakaria, Z-A-C-C-A-R-I-A-1 on Instagram. The What Are You Saying podcast, yeah. w- W-U-T space R space U space S-A-Y-I-N question mark. Type it into Google. It'll come up. I'll put the uh, link yeah. in the bio, you lazy yeah, cunts. Yeah, just just check out my... All you got to do is promote my website and my Instagram. That's it. That's Fucking anybody. Yeah, I'll just put it in there, man. But thanks, man. This was dope. All right, guys. It was cool to be a guest. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, see you later, cunts. Uh, next next week, we got uh, Justin Trudeau on. It's going to be <laughs> real dope. He's going to... He won biggest about, dick in North America. Yeah, fucking North America. Right. I'm fucking guy. See this guy's butt. Damn, only one in Yeah, second place. Yeah. Anyways, see you later. Peace, fuckers. Bye.